characters that have been put in the Mortal Kombat franchise over the years, you know, Rambo, Robocop, etc. It's it's a why not scenario, right? Yeah, why not? And why not indeed? Because why not see Tanya on the screen? Black Girl Magic times two. We got Sin Plus versus El Gato Many with critical reaction. And El Gato Many rocking with Tanya Farah. Plus with rocking Tanya Motaro. Both very strong shells. Yeah, absolutely. You know, those of you that know me know I've been preaching the good word that is Mo the Motaro cameo since the game came out. And it's so good to finally see folks to see in the light. You know, you got the plus on block low. You got the uh, full screen coverage with the tail shot and a reflect, right? So you have the opportunity to turn some strings into some, you know, into some, some very strong mix up opportunities. And then with a character like Tanya, that's one of those will they, won't they type of characters, right? With that, you know, with that approaching mid, because they have the opportunity to cut it short, fully extend it, multi-hitting. It's, it's a one size fits all button, it seems like, right? So Sin Plus getting hit with the fatal blow here from El Gato Manny. It's gonna go ahead and take that first round there. Oh yes, and I think with Tanya Motaro in particular, made into the low shot, you can just crush certain characters. Can't find a way out of it. Like the Tanya, on the other hand, still make her armor move safe and launch just like El Gato Manny did there. Sim Plus in the blender. Oh, now we're going with the lows. But yeah, we got armor on top of armor. It's gonna be very hard to pressure Tanya in this matchup with Tanya. Yeah, which is strange when you think about it, right? You always think about it in, in when it comes to mirror matches. It's just how well can they deal with their own stuff, you know? And that always leads leaves room for debate when it comes to mirror matches, right? When it comes to just how well a character can actually hold their own when they have to deal with their own. So here we go, Manny, all ready to a great start. Tons of real estate built up for themselves. It's gonna go ahead and uh, try to get yeah, some- and, and why not? Why not chandelier kick out of there? There's really nothing that Tanya can do to prevent the chandelier kicks into the Pharah. Like she has to guess like most other characters in the cast have to guess in that situation. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, with the threat of, and then you got two cameos here, like you just said, right? That, that very easily cover what little gap she has you know because normally when it comes to that particular string of hers right is that it's unsafe on block so you do get your turn back but with mm -hmm. the added you know with the added threat of either one of those cameos it makes it really difficult just to respond in general so sim plus so plus here is going to go ahead and opt with the kenshi is going to go ahead and opt for the range option here that keep away just try to basically get the momentum early because kenshi is that kind of character that once they get their hands on you they're definitely going to keep you there the the sento spirit you know always just lurking around the corner yeah. I mean, listen, we've heard a lot about Kenshi Striker these past few weeks. After the Cyrax nerf, people thought Kenshi was gloom and doom, but Kenshi players always find a way to get Sento out on block. He so always gonna gonna find a way. Now the Sento mix is here, and once Sento is out, listen, Kenshi turns into an entirely different type of monster. Listen, if comic books have shown me anything, is that you always never underestimate the blind man. Oh, exactly. Look at that. Just like that. Just melt Don't health bar. Out. Sin Plus. This may have been a very good choice. Sin Plus. Switch it to the Kenshi. Listen, when Sinto comes out, it's it's a fair game, boys and girls. I get to do what I want, and you have to guess. Now, not so man. He has him in the corner. This is what you want to do with Kenji. You want to pressure him because when he's not in Sento's stance with Sento, he's always trying to look for that opportunity to get Sento out. So the constant pressure. Okay, back off. All right, Sento. What can we get here? We find anything. He's moving in closer. Yeah, and I like that with Plus, right? You know, using the ghost to just get themselves out of the corner, not even necessarily looking for the hit, just trying to keep Manny honest. And they even managed to to lower the health deficit as a result. But Manny's gonna go ahead and get the hit. One round of peace. Yeah, and Anya's armor move moves Kenshi away from Sento, which is really good, especially with the Pharah that can make it safe or even plus in certain situations. 
Senso's right there in her face. Oh, oh no, you can't poke it from conversion. that range! Yeah, the conversion there from downtown, plus immediately getting the momentum there, right? And that's what we were talking about earlier. Once they get started, it's very hard to stop. Catches out with the meter to get the Sento back. But Sento is on cooldown, comes back. Manny, gotta be yeah, careful that's here. That's so smart from Plus. He's whipping that special move that Gato Manny can't poke Sento and put him on a cooldown. That is so smart from Sin Plus. Yeah, that was actually really interesting to see, right? Because you saw Manny trying to get it with the down one, you know, just trying desperately mm -hmm. to just put Sento in the in the timeout corner, and that way they'll get an opportunity to get their game plan started. But plus, like you just saw, like you just said, you know, has an answer for that, was able to even up the score here, which was dangerous because Manny was just on set, which it was just on game point there for uh for a moment. So good stuff on plus oh, yes, to uh, turn so. things around. <laughs> We're sticking with the Kenshi. Is Elgato Manny going to switch? Listen, if I had to put all my eggs in a basket, I'd put it in the Tanya basket. Those feel like pretty strong arms right there. Yeah, Tanya is one of those characters that just feels kind of underrated in a sense. Underrated and underrepresented because, you know, she hasn't really had much changes uh, across the board and, you know, over the past year when it comes to this game. She's always had this game plan. It's just, you know, it gets progressively stronger with the introduction of more cameos. So she basically just has more ways to enforce it. My theory with Tanya, Jack, is that Tanya is one of the best counterpick characters in this game. I think everyone who wants to be a competitive player either needs a pocket, Tanya, or needs to know how to beat Tanya consistently. Because this character is not only strong, but easy to use. Like, you can pick Tanya up in about a few hours to a day, and you will be good. Yeah, right now, Sin Plus don't care about none of that. That Sin Toe Mix. Listen, I get to party when my friend is here. Yeah, exactly. Three is a crowd, right? You got Kenshi, Striker, and the Ghost. Look, he's just tossing it out from mid range. It's the hit. Sin Toe out, just neutral. We love to see it. Yeah, appreciate everybody who has been utilizing the coupon code so far in the Macherino. Remember, exclamation point Macherino in the chat to uh, bring up the link that allows you to contribute to the pot for free as long as we got those coupon codes. You can also contribute to the, you can also do a direct contribution to the pot for any amount you so choose. So definitely make sure you're checking that out. And Sim Plus here taking the second round very convincingly. And that looked like a flawless. That was a amazing. Sin Plus. This Kenshi pick has been paying dividends so far, Jackal. Yeah, absolutely right. The Kenshi pick is definitely making it work right now. Manny's going to have to figure things out because it looked like it was Manny's game at the first start of the match, but Plus is turning this around. You know, Plus has definitely done a great job of, you know, again, just containing Manny and just snuffing out any opportunity to get started because for what it's worth you know Tanya's main if main pain point if at all is that her longest reaching tools are highs you know she has to get close mm -hmm. for the most part so playing against yes. a character like Kenshi who has the range advantage to an exponential value right not only having long reaching normals himself but having yeah, access to the Sento spirit as well as the zoning from Striker makes it incredibly difficult for Tonya to get started. Yeah, and I think this is one of the reasons why we see Johnny Cage here. Johnny Cage from got to man. Maybe the answer here, but we gotta see. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Right now, Sin Plus is just putting in all kinds of work. Yeah, for sure. And honestly, I like the Johnny pick, right? Because, you know, even though the Shadow Cake was made just a little bit slower, you know, it's still definitely an, uh, a threat to consider in open neutral. And then not to mention, you know, Johnny's still, again, another one of those characters that despite, you know, the 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 adjustments that have been made to his, his character over the past year, they haven't really been major. You know, his game plan has remained pretty much unchanged throughout the entirety of the game's life. So using the Serena cameo here to get the ability to come back Kenshi's range, which is smart. 
you know, give the uh, yeah, Sin Plus is just so in. smart in the neutral with these situations. He's just having he's just pressing the right buttons at the right time. Ooh, he's so huh. smart, just that Sento pressure. Plus he's making Sento very hard to poke out of for El Gato Manager right now. It's a hit. Serena, let's get busy. Yeah, let's go ahead and queue up that uh, meter drain there. Plus frames. Where Johnny K strides, when are you gonna press a button? You don't know, I don't know, the chat don't know, nobody knows. Yeah, dangerous situation to be in, right? You know, Johnny K is definitely a very commanding presence in that corner. Plus doing everything possible to keep Manny contained. You know, this is set point for Plus, so, you know, all they gotta do is just finish here at this point. That's the hardest part to do against top level players. Can you finish the deal? Can you make it to where it's hard to adapt to so that you can take the set? Oh my And uh, God. looks like Sam Plus heard me because, uh, oh my Ooh, goodness, tough. where'd his head go? Can she yeah. Brutality. Yeah, and then, you know, for what it's worth, can she try right, right he's never back error down. macro on the screen versus smoke? Striker right. one has been showing out with this Ermac so far in the scene. On oh, multiple tournaments, multiple top eights with this character. But listen, Volver Boss with the smoke chameleon choice. Listen, when a man's invisible, can anyone block? Let's find out. Yeah, you wanna see if, uh, if it's easier to hit what you can't see when you have thousands of, uh, you know, thousands of individuals helping you out. And honestly, I absolutely love Ermac in this game. I think this is easily one of the best iterations of him in the MK franchise. The cancels, the flight combos, I mean, the levitation combos, you know, really cool stuff to watch. Oh my god, Revolver Boss in this first round is taking it convincingly to Smoke Chameleon. Pulling out all of the stops. Let's see if Tracker can get a read. That was a very nice one right there. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, to to okay, nice armor out. Mark's Smoke Chameleon isn't the best, but Revolver Boss not scared to use it. Oh my god, what was that sequence? Again, this is what I love so much about Ermac, right? It's because it, it, it's a very open-ended character, and you can really see the individualism in the different players that, <laughs> that use this character. And already, a striker is showing us that they are ready at any given moment. And that was a very clean round for them, you know, even things up. I don't know how I don't know how Ermac players do it without hurting their hands every day. Listen, I can't do the stuff. Listen, like you think this is bad? Try doing Johnny combos in MKX. That's real execution for you. I'm just saying. Yeah. True execution. I stand one anti air. Come here. Let me talk uh, to you, uh, Johnny Cage. Uh. Yeah, Striker. Okay, woke up, bud. Ermac has been absolutely insane so far. Oh, oh he gets something going. That's a good start. All right, he wasted his bar. Let's see if the Volvo Boss can get something here. What a back to. We're going to go invisible here. What are we doing? So we're going to go straight into the fatal. Get out. All right, so Striker is doing their due diligence defending here, so it's not going to kill. Slash gonna do some damage. 402, 411. The chameleon just whips. Yeah, you yeah, we to had break to break there. that. That was gonna kill. Yep. Go ahead with the damage reduction there. So for those of you that are not. Uh, brace. Yeah, so those of you that may not be familiar with how that works, whenever Ermac puts that skin on, so to speak, instead of taking instead of his health taking damage, he loses meter. 
So, you know, it's essentially, you know, just extra life in a sense. And, you know, it almost worked out. You know, Revolver Boss just kind of kept swinging, right? Just kept working and, and uh, wearing down the armor. Or, I mean, wearing down the, the overshield. So, you know, great stuff there from Revolver Boss just maintaining the pressure there. But Striker, very strong showing for our game one. Very, very strong. I feel like Revolver Boss kept his composure throughout all of the cancels. Striker, and was able to just find his hits. And that's what you need to do with Smoke. Just find your hits, ash out for good damage, goes into some more mix. All right, here we go here. Working the classic Ermac skin there. I love it. Yeah, I love that. Uh, uh. We'll try to go for the mini overhead there, but the delay wake is going to get Revolver out. Nice. Revolver opens him up with the overhead. So good. This is armor choices. It's so good. Yeah, another armor right out right there. Yeah, you've been coming. Oh, yeah, but he got he got to dip on his chip. Oh, he's gonna set up for the big damage. Oh, 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 oh! That was he's sick. That, that, that was sick. so nice from Striker. He knows when to use the puppet and how they use it properly. We love to see it, but Revolver Boss doesn't care about any of that. Chat the chaos is unfolding right now and it's, and it's uh, taking a hold early right now. Oh, oh my god! Up block. Striker doing a great job, and honestly, both of these players' awareness and reactions have been on fire this entire set. Yeah, they've been great. Oh no, that's not what you wanted, but no punish. He had a big knee. Huh. Oh, didn't get the uh, oh, another drop combo. That's the one thing you gotta have with Ermac. Your combos need to be on point. All right, here we go. We're setting it up. Uh. Oh, uh. yet again. Uh, 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 uh. Going for the brutal? No. Oh, oh he, he got it. it. No. no! <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna have. Oh, we're gonna have fun tonight, y'all. We're definitely gonna have fun tonight. Oh, yeah. This is it's great. It's gonna be a good night tonight. Yes. We are partying tonight. And also, uh, another thing I want to point out is we have MF Slayer in the bracket as well. I was I was tripping here. I didn't go through the whole uh, through the whole list, but uh, we got Slayer, Mighty Unjust. You know, it's it's looking like a really 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 strong night tonight. Smoke. Yeah, man. Let's just shout out some of the boys in here. We got ETLD's Blizzard. We got Gross. We got Kelso two times. Dexy Dog, Rohilio, Samasu. We even got the boy B Wood. Cam is black. And we harder. even see Mr. Aquaman in the bracket today. Yeah, you know. Great again. show. Yeah, you know. And, uh, you know, honestly, right, a lot of people trying to get their practice in. Trying to prepare and get ready. Easy T's right around the corner for some of these competitors. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, and I absolutely love this stage. The round three music is still one of my favorites to this day. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Come on, y'all, give me a round three. boss right now. Ooh, oh, punish. what a I'll block on the armor from Ermac, and we going for a ride. Drops the combo though. You will hate to see it. His armor through though. Hey, listen, Revolver Boss is playing so solid, Jackal. Playing yeah. so solid tonight. Yeah, these call outs have been absolutely great. And another, and a great call out there from Striker. All right, there we go. Put the over It's going to be hard to kill him. Wait, did he just go away up prematurely? It was so weird. Yeah, it might be a rule, you know, if you only have so much health there. It might not uh, actually uh, matter at that point. Yeah, maybe so. Or maybe uh, you have to meter burn it. I'm not totally sure. Some I got more lab than fuck, but as of right now, Revolver Boss, he is also mixing up the times he jumps and the time he teleports from his jumps. Really throwing off Striker's anti air time. Oh, 
go into the mix. Soul Spit, EX version. Let's go for a ride. Yeah, you know, and uh, good stuff there from Revolver Boss using the delay wake up there to stay out of that setup because the thing about Ermac is that he has some really tricky overhead low situations, right? He's got the, you know, the one, two, three string that ends in a low that, and not to mention, oh, what a block there. Immediately shutting down the uh, overhead attempts. Yep, and there you go, that tricky low string and yep, having right. the Janet cameo allows him to convert. Yeah, Janet just allows him to pick up from so many things. Allows him oh! so much stuff. And right now, Striker putting in tons of work. Is this going to be the kill? Oh, yes, it is. Oh yeah, very, very strong stuff, for sure. Striker moving up here on the board, two games to one. We got a set here, folks. This has just been back and forth, back and forth all night. And look, it's looking like a game five, but I know Striker wants to close it out right here and now. Ermac, Smoke, Janet, Cage. Chameleon, Wuxi Academy. Tragedy All right, so Smoke, uh, I mean, Very Revolver Balls here, level. just, you know, working with the tried and true. No, uh, no change here. Working with it. Yep. Oh, try to get something started there. Went for the hard read on a teleport, but no dice. Revolver Balls could have got a bigger punish, though. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Oh, and what a call oh, out. Oh, gets hit by the low again. All right, we're invisible. All right, we're just catching out the cameos here. Going for the middle of damage. No, we're going to add a little extra in there. Right now, with the depths embrace and the corner, yeah, no, we do not go invisible on me. I can see you, sir. You're right over there. I absolutely love that with the recent, with this recent iteration of Ermac, and that's one of my favorite things about him. How like he kind of, you know, has this design like he's like a horror movie character, you know, like he's terrifying. He's literally a zombie that's just being held up by the soul. Yeah. That's it. That's what Ermac is. Places him down. Like, man, the Bulbar Balls are just getting hit by everything right now. Oh. We need to tighten up that defense. That's a good start. Ooh, gets popped there. Ooh, no big punish, though. Hit for at least 50% there, right this way though. All right, a little funky set up there. Striker getting the next hit. Gets the game set and match, and what a finish there. Striker. Definitely keep it coming and uh, just keep on building running it up. Running it up, boys and girls. Keep running it up. Yeah, like we have almost 400 people in here already. Imagine if everybody just like contributed a dollar. Just literally a dollar, you know? That was a very weird interaction, but I'm here for it. Right now we got Tragic on the Smoke Sonya and MF Slayer going on to Tanya Farah. Yeah, we already saw the value, you know, that the uh, Tanya Farah combination can bring when it came to the mini match. And honestly, uh, Tragic playing Smoke, you know, kind of fits into Tanya's game plan, right? Because again, as we spoke about earlier, Tanya's a character that prefers to be in that like two character range or less. You know, she wants to be relatively close to you. Does she doesn't have to be point blank range all the time, but definitely wants to be able to crank out the the block strings in that in that case. Fight. Yeah, and um, comes to a point where. Smoke really has to be careful how they pressure Tanya. Yeah. Very, mm -hmm. very careful. Mm -hmm. That armor is definitely a threat at any given moment. All right, 
Good flawless block there. Finishes the string again. That will they, won't they mix up. It's just so strong. It's so strong that overhead can't be punished, but you get hit by the low. Four or three. We got to break it. Ooh, gets opened up by the low once again. You know, those cancels. Boy, he just waited there. Oh, gets hit by the overhead. Defense needs to be more solid, sir. Low again. My tracking is just mixing this man. All right, and like you said earlier, right? Got to be careful when, you, when it comes to uh, pressuring Tanya because that spin kick. And good blocks here from Tragic right now. Just waiting yeah, their turn. Like the blocks. Yeah, they have the health lead, so there's really no reason for them to do anything in that case. Yeah, I mean, even though all the good things about Tanya, one thing is without Cameo, she doesn't really have a mix. There's really no way to open you up except the stagger game. And even though it is strong, when your opponent has no reason to let go a block when they can eat a grab or three, it's tough for Tanya in that situation. Yeah, for sure. Speaking about opening it up, shout out to Boats. Opening up the floodgates right now with the five gifted, five tier one gifted subs. Shout out to Boats. Thank you for that. You know, it's definitely September. So feel free to uh, look into those specials, those discounted subs for new and returning subs as well. So, you know, definitely make sure you check that out. Man, right now, Tragic is just mixing this man's lair. Like, this is different from the smoke we just saw. Like, Tragic is going 100 miles a minute. Mix on top of mix on top of mix. Yeah, and I like that awareness for Slayer using the down one to interrupt the cancel pressure. Ooh, almost got caught there. Well, a neutral jump and no anti -air. Yeah, just the raw Sony overhead. Because you're worried about that forward three for smoke. You're worried about that low. That overhead can get you at any point. Yep, just goes for the chip out right damage. there. Very smart. Yep. Round two. Fight. All right, getting the party started already. Grab right there. Let's start some offense. That Sonya overhead has worked 100% of the time, Jackal. It has been very good for Tragic in this set. Yeah, you know, and rightfully so, because you got Smoke throwing these two, three different lows at you, and not to mention has quick overheads of his own. And Tragic is changing up the timings of those Sonya calls, so, you know, very uh, annoying situation here for, for Slayer, but Slayer. Ooh, trying to get the low there. Good block on the low. Yep, and there it is. The overhead hits. Yeah, and that was a counter hit. Slayer thinking that uh, Trap was going to try to stagger there or try to cancel. Future jump. And Slayer make the comeback. Good block on the low. Our reactions are on point. Good, sir. And that is going to be, oh, the tragic. And Tragic doing a great job right now, just maintaining the the advantage. You know, a lot of great whiff punishes in general, which is what I feel like is the key here in Tragic's game plan. You know, catching MF Slayer, whiffing a lot, jumping back as well. Like, again, the key here is spacing. So just staying out of the way and in the events where Tanya does pose the distance, you're seeing Tragic just absolutely okay with taking the chip, taking the block. They're building up enough real estate for themselves early on so they can deal with it later. Do I look nervous? Yeah, I mean, Tragic is playing this beautifully right now. Against the matchup where, I'll say, man, Tanya can just bully Smoke because of his bad armor, but Tragic is not even giving MF Slayer the time to armor. Yeah, Slayer Dig. Oh, beautiful whip punish. Very nice whip punish. Let me get something started. Let's start some offense. Good low. Pieces are yeah. coming together. Yeah, try, try again. If that first you don't succeed. And now Slayer's starting to wake up here with another whip punish, but didn't commit. You in the corner get smoked. This is a bad day. Yeah, try to wake up there, but gets caught midair. Oh, and a miss time was missed call. Yeah. Gets a side switch. Try to get the anti-air, but no dice. Yeah. 
That's combat league tactics right there. We wake up, neutral jump. Because it's your chance. It, you got to stop it, not me. All right. And I, I like... Here. Yeah, I like I that decision, you this. know? Yeah, you, you, you want to go ahead and secure the round. Tragic is already working on getting the set lined up. You got to get some points on the board. All right, Slayer working with no meter, though, so they're going to have to be very careful here. Tragic with only a bar and a half. Yep, we're going to have to play some neutral here for Tanya, which is easy for her. Ooh, try to up block, thought the overhead was coming. Meant to stack in that situation. Wake up out of there, and honestly, not a bad decision because you're out of the corner, the cameo's on cooldown. I want to challenge, but we challenge Tragic. It's just not respecting. Oh. I swear. All right, we're starting to optimize now. Hands me at once, Ethan. Very good throw break. Into the overhead. We love to see it. Visible. Where am I? Yeah, and that was looking good. You know, Slayer was starting to get some momentum, but again, Tragic is doing a great job of just staying elusive here in this case. You know, not being afraid to just, uh, yeah, just sit back. Okay, we get some more things started. Let's see what we can do here. Do the drill kick to that mid. This is my world now. Nice down post. Here we Oh, that was smart. We don't know where he is, Jackal. I cannot see this man. Oh, and Slayer oh, following the cameraman. Very nice, oh, Slayer. Oh, yeah, that we're so going to do it again. That was so smart to break the armor. Smoke. Just do it again because oh, my why not? Gosh. I can keep it safe, Jackal. I can keep it safe. Yeah, and now Slayer's starting to wake up here. You saw a lot of good little mini adjustments for Slayer as well, too. You know, changing up the times because you saw earlier in those in those earlier rounds, they did they were reacting to the situations that Tragic was presenting, especially when they tried to get the anti airs and just deal with those jump ins in general. But Slayer was just just short in those earlier rounds. So, you know, good stuff to him for making those adjustments to to capitalize in those opportunities that he sees. And I felt what he did in those situations was, <laughs> listen, I'm going to You've armor here because there's not much you. smoke can do defensively Why? to do stop that. Round one. We see the Five. switch to the sector. Listen, for the Lin play, we love to see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and what an interrupt there from Slayer. Again, those, those micro adjustments paying dividends right now. Try to get the full optimization, but we're going to take the corner. And some of y'all may just know Slayer from running these tournaments. Slayer is a veteran in this scene, boys and girls. He's going now, to know how to adapt. Yeah, now this change in cameo could spell doom for Tragic, right? Because now they, they no longer have access to the extra 50-50 with the Sonya flip. So... But they do gain new meaty setups, which is great, right, for following Tanya whenever she tries to spin the win. Yes. Ooh! And a nice conversion that. there. Oh, there's more! Oh, my gosh. What a Just down two. We me. don't care. And guess what? He was so scared about Fair right there. He did even punish that. That's what Farrah gives you with Tanya. Yeah, Farrah definitely uh, the new hotness when it comes to the cameos, right? Safe mix-up, safe-ish mix-ups, right, with the pushback. Set it up, free invisibility, but why not just armor out? You don't care that you can go invisible when you have nothing to stop my armored wake-up. And Slayer here. Oh my goodness, that's another anti-air. Three. Right, Slayer is partying right now, getting the shimmies. All right, Tragic, you gotta slow it down right now. You were up 2-0, Tragic. Cannot let Slayer get any more momentum. Oh, oh broke the armor, armor. very nice. Oh my gosh, what? that was what so silly. Was that? And Slayer, 
all the momentum right now. Nice. Trying to finish the, the match here. Gets out of the corner. We are swinging. We'll get hit by the low. He could be dead here. Possibly. Smoke does have one of the lower, you know, the damage of his beta blow is on the lower side. But they did go into it early, so it should kill. It See, does. He's dead. Match point for tragic. Oh my gosh, from downtown. Slayer with the Pharaoh. Crazy, listen. Oh, I need we're to pop out NBA here. Jam. He's on fire right now, but tragic. Looking to douse that flame. Oh, ooh, we're doing the hard stuff, but he drops it. Oh, ooh. There's chaos all over the screen right now, chat. Tragic. And overhead, Tragic says, I want to go home. No game five. But he's not dead. Slayer's not dead yet. Oh, now it's just too much. Is... Finish her. Oh, yes. The bag's right back. Are we going to get it? Nope. Nope. We're out. We're out. I don't want to see it. We're out. Everybody can get it, you know. We are many. You are We see another Ermac, but we also see the be... Milkman, Mr. Vaught himself. Homeland. <laughs> All right. We got Janet Cage in the back there, and we got Ermac with Darius. So it's going to see some very damaging combos on the screen here. It's going to be a lot of... A lot of nonsense. A lot of and mix. Here we go. A lot yeah. of nonsense. And I've, I've known Kid uh, KGP in this for a long time. He's probably never faced this team in his life. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, the mix. All yeah. of the mix. Wanted to get the, the cancel there to keep the combo going, but still, Kelso is doing a great job here. Got a great start. But here we go, Homelander. Homelander says, I got mixed move. with my own, good sir. Yeah. Got those bombos. Here we go. Oh, you got those? So we're just going to go ahead and go into the middle. Yeah, yeah, make us the breaker, yes. What a read on the teleport. Oh, my oh. God, it's so cheap. I think I know that how girls so got 3 0 chat. I think I think I yes. know what happened. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of zoning. Stay away from me. Don't touch me. Ooh, beautiful anti-air conversion here from Miss. Exactly. This is what I said when I said, man, the cameo you choose can change your entire game plan. How often do we see a Ermac Darius on the tube? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, exactly. Death. Yeah, here we go here. Just embrace. Not gonna be taking any damage for a good minute. Oh, oh, oh. All right, here we go. Oh, mix time. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh my god! Oh, gets the fatal blow, nope. but the, the armor was uh, too late. Oh, could have got a whip punish there. The armor to blow up the flight cancel. Armor through. Now you got to guess. Yep, Darius right behind you. Listen, this team. I, I have never uh. seen this team in my life, Jackal. Listen, when I saw that combination for the first time, I was so hyped. Listen, Darius is easily one of my favorite picks for cameos in, in this game. All we need now is a Cobra cameo, and we'll be set. You know. Oh well, yeah, we get a we get a Cobra or Tar. I just I need I need the Kali yeah. sticks to come back. You know, I need the Kali sticks to come back. Oh yeah, the Kali sticks. Oh yes, that would be so hype. You know. I don't even care. You can reuse the assets. Just give them night wings, little, you know. Little dee -dee -dee -dee. Yeah, that's why not? Fine. Yeah, like I'll be happy. All I'll be cool with that. Telekinesis. That is just one of our powers. That's canon. You know, you often so see uh, Ermac, you know, doing a lot of uh, levitation and telekinesis stuff, but he takes on the abilities of literally any soul that he absorbs, which is why Ermac is so terrifying. And Darius is right there. Good block. It's gonna be a good on-the-job training for KTP's miss. Here we go. Puts the overshield on. Grace. 
uh, uh. Ooh, good whip punish from downtown. It's the reset. He reset the combo because he knew Depths and Grace was going to end soon. Very smart for Miss. And that was a wall-to-wall yeah, -wall combo. <laughs> what? All right, it's guess for your life. Oh, oh my god! My god! I'm happy that I'm not in that room right now. How do you? How do you even block this stuff? You don't. <laughs> yeah. I guess you just don't. You know. I guess I'll just die as Miss gets in, gets the conversion. We're going for a ride. Uh. Set goes for the low option. The comes of it. All right, plus Kevin range. Nash. Yeah, we're gonna armor through. We care about that. Oop, oop, oop. And we're gonna get some of Darius back. Very smart. Oh, get out of my skies. You levitate. Darius I take off. Look, if he gets the hit, he can just tell Darius, hey, go away for a second. Let me handle him. Yeah, I like that setup there, using the uh, ground sparks to set up the Oki. Yeah, you had to get out of there. Kelso, trying to secure game two. Miss, fighting back. Oh, that was dirty. That was so smart. Choke him out. Oh my Come God! Here. Get yoked up like your daddy used to. And that's going to be the round for Mist. Oh my gosh. Vic. Like D-boy scrapping out here. I'm loving every second of it right now. Need a break. By a bombshell. Final round. Fight. Oh, gets the whip punish. And we're just swinging right now. Here we go. Over shield. Man, let me talk to you upside down. Uh, uh. Nice. Gets the low there. Side switch. Yeah, you didn't pay attention to your backside. Gotta watch the six. Look how much health he lost just off those two sequences. Yeah, Ermac, you know, for all, you know, for what it's worth, doesn't really lack in the damage department. You know, even by himself, he's able to net a solid like average of what 300, 320 damage uh, for for one bar. So, you know, yeah, when you and, add the cameo with in there, this variation. Like, he's getting that damage into mix, into more of that damage, into another mix. Yeah, absolutely. And Kelso just barreling their way through this set right now, trying to secure that top 16 slot in winners. And it's looking like they're going to do it. You know, it's looking like they can very much do it. Darius, Janet, yeah, but Miss needs to make an adjustment right now. Yeah, and I mean, for what it's worth, Mist has been making them, you know, with, this has been a pretty, this is one of those sets where you have to look at those finer details because Mist has been, has been fighting back. It's just that once Kelso gets started, those Darius mix-ups, they're so effective. Oh, speaking of mix-ups here, we get another reset. Uh, yeah, Kelso uh, two times, uh, time mix three times in a row in that sequence. Just gets hit on wake up again. Give me your eyeballs. I'm sure Ermax okay. I need you to clap him one time for me, Miss. Since you putting your hand on his head, I need you to clap it for me one time. It's all about me. Very dominant round from Mist right there. But can he keep it up? And we were just talking about just the absolute success of these guest characters in Homelander. Is a testament to that right now, because honestly, I am loving Miss Homelander right now, showing just how mobile, how agile, how powerful. Look at that! That is crazy. Insane. And gets the whiff punish. Yeah, we had to break that. Neutral here. Yes. You gotta get some strength. Oh, in gets here. hit by the low. Get yoked up. Yeah, it's a beautiful beatdown right now with the orchestra playing in the background. Goes for the reset. Gets it. Uh, oh this is not goodness. done yet, Jackal. This still got a little bit more in the tank. Homelander wins. 
milkman. All right, we got a game here, folks. No bus ass, no three O's. Kelso two times does have the lead. So, you know, all they got to do is finish. It is their game to lose. But Mists, again, has oh, been man. giving Kelso as much as they've been. Oh, and here we go. We see the switch. The one e Where is Puggles? Control your powers. Why you gotta Yo, why you gotta bring up old up shit, man? And fight. <laughs> why why you gotta why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that? See, I just bro, I just had a, man, I just almost threw up in my mouth from from that man, you know. We we don't need we don't need that pest back in our lives, okay? A lot of people in the community says that Quan Chi does very, very well against Homelander. Let's see if Kelso two times can make it happen. Yeah, and it's looking like that, you know, may be the case here as Kelso two times has been doing a great job of just basically staying out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and put him in jail. Oh, what a mix. Yeah, you oh, can't poke him back. You cannot poke him back. Is. Shades of MKX right now. Put him in the jail. Oh, look, being a pro oh, what a block. You're dead off of this. Mm. I don't make mistakes. Round two. All right, Five. here we go. Miss taking that first round, but it definitely was anybody's game there. Honestly, like Kelso just needed to convert off of some scenarios there. There's a couple drop combos, but you know, you can leave that to a little bit of a. Uh, awkwardness right playing Ermac for so long and then having to immediately switch to another character and we have the frost cameo on top of that which i personally That's love it. for quan chi extra chip damage unblockable setups and not to mention the ability to convert from range right now we need to stay away from that portal that gives quan chi armor but right now you're just stuck in this long screen hell Quan and there it is. Again, those uh, unblockable setups with the frost ball. This is the depth that I was referring to earlier. There's so much that, that you can just try out, right, with these character combinations, and we're seeing it right here. Obviously, we've been seeing Janet Cage a lot, right? But Kelso two times is showing us just how much utility there is left on the character select screen with the Darius and now the frost pick. Yeah, I mean, and Kelso looks like is not missing a beat with this Quan Chi Jackal. This Quan Chi is seasoned, boy. Oh, absolutely. And oh my gosh, Miss tried to escape. One more hit for Miss. He gets hit by the bone cage. And we out of there. I don't want to see anymore. I, I don't want to see. Did anyone no, tell, no. did anyone tell Bus Man that the patch isn't until two weeks from now? Did anybody tell this man? But here's the deal. That move but yet. you want to know what's been there since the game started? The unblockable. And here Very we go. True. We're gonna go ahead and get started. The overhead looking like an unblockable right now. Listen, this is Just... dialogue game plan right here. We're gonna bulldog. We're gonna bully ball you until you break. Yeah, Bus Man saying no. This is a fight. Uh, we got the green man on us. The gang green. Ooh, dialogue. Yep. Here, yeah. good grab. Yeah, dialogue a very aggressive style Shao. I mean, of course, Shao is a naturally aggressive style character, but I feel like dialogue is just so confident in his decision making, regardless, right? Yeah, I mean, he he believes in every decision he makes. Mm -hmm. And not a lot of people can say that. He, he firmly believes every decision he makes is the right one. And normally it turns out to be that way, you know? I have still yet to find anybody who has been able to adequately stop this man. Yeah, I mean, Dialogue, man, he, he just puts so much pressure on you. And it like, it, it, makes, it makes it hard to think sometimes. It makes it hard to think of your next move because he's already on move two, move three. And it's like, how do I get this big burly man off of me? All right, here we go. Yep. Got the unblockable yeah, setup there. Yeah, that's a free next Yeah. That good stuff. Bust man with a very healthy uh, life lead right now. Good flawless block from dialogue, but it's not enough. 
What a micro dub. Bust man to take that round. Yeah, meterless damage, unblockable setups, and a little bit of counter zoning right with the energy wave that they did recently buff and make faster, so. Oh, oh the people flee! Oh, try to get yeah, out of dodge. Not back dash on me. You have a full screen projectile. And I see Bustman is trying to attempt to anti-air dialogue there, but Shao does have one of the stronger jump-ins in the game because it has like this half moon hurt uh, half moon hitbox underneath him. Look man, Dialog oh. is moving in Here, get on my axe, good sir. Let's go to the second game. The first game wasn't yours. Alright. Very strong showing from both players. You know, a lot of back and forth. Busman definitely was able to uh, get some things going. But again, the confidence from Dialog, the relentless uh, just, you know, pressure with the Tremor uh, combination there is very, very, you know, very much paying dividends right now. And the thing that I'm liking the most so far is Dialog's use of the crystalline armor. You know, anybody who played MKX knows just how strong that armor was at that time. And it's basically a, a, a iteration of that, you know, being able to uh, take those extra hits, cut the hit stun in half, basically. don't need leaders. But most don't, which is why they do. Yeah, mm, and with tell them. General Shao and Dialogue, I mean, I feel like this character was specifically made for Dialogue just his tools he can press with multiple armor moves. and with the tremor pick this is a boss character's health bar jackal mm -hmm. 1200 and bus man you know having the same amount here you know that jacks cameo giving that extra health oh uppercutted this man into the people who need let's go for a ride good block there all right, mixing it up a little bit with the low. Now, Busman is committing a lot of resources right now, you know, trying to make the hard read, assuming that they're going to get the hit, which is why you see the Jack's gotcha grab coming out regardless. And I'm, oh! I feel like that's what you got to do with having. You just got to make those hard reads and hope they hit. Oh, good Stuck catch there. Good fight back from Busman. Hold up. I'm going to the fatal blow. Yeah, definitely gonna go ahead and try to reduce that health deficit for sure. You know, the Jax cameo offering one of the highest fatal blow damages in the game. All right, here we go again. Yeah, right, gonna go ahead and get that unblockable. unblockable. You see that? Do you see that, chat? Round four. That was nice. Do your homework. There's much more cheap stuff in the game. I promise you. Ooh, get the... Come here, get grabbed. Yep. Alright, playing a little bit of keep out here. It's hard to do that with Shadow, though, because here he comes. Good blocks. Oh, more armor. That armor moved twice in a row. Guy likes yeah. not care. He wants to be in. Oh yeah, you think it's your turn? No. Good interrupt there, conversion. All right, a little stagger. Down one, hold this, that's plus. And Busman's content with this right now. Using his plus frames. All right, good, good grab. There. Yeah, recognizing that Dalak was content with just sitting there and taking the block, taking advantage of that. Yeah, the, uh, the good stuff, getting that unblockable here. Nice down four. Ooh. Oh, just whiff, but no whiff punish. Comes Havoc. Yeah, and this is where Havoc is grab. Good. Yeah! Oh, gotcha. Extra grab damage! Did you know that if you burn all three bars, that is almost 300 damage? It's a, it's, it's a full combo. It's a it's a grab that does a full, a, a full combo's worth of damage. That's insane. <laughs> I mean, listen, the quad slam has been a staple move in Jax's library for a long time. Glad to see it in cameo form. 
Yeah, and you know, you start to see where Havoc tends to shine, right? When Havoc has the health lead, it can be a bit difficult to open him up because at that point, then you're chasing him the whole time. And him having a lot of advancing normals means that you are gambling every time you decide to step into that danger zone. think you would earn your respect. Round one, fight. One to one right now. A lot of people ask Busman, how does he feel? He says it's because he loves Havoc and he ain't leaving. And that right there is the right answer. When you love a character, you're going to make it work. That doesn't matter how bad. Listen, you're going to get W's with him. Yeah, you're not worried about the meta. You're not worried about the peanut gallery. You're just trying to do the best you can with the character that you want. Right? Exactly, exactly. Right now, a general shout. Just like, your home is the corner now? And you have a full residency. Oh, nice low there with the metallic. Uh, Alright, let's man fight back. Let's see what you got. Uh, 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 yep. Get the unblockable. Yep. Add a little him. extra on there. Guaranteed unblockable Where are you going? here. Guaranteed. Whoa. Oh wait. Uh, Match is back again. Uh, <laughs> get away. Uh, 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 uh. uh. Yeah, that's two of them. And already we are eating, awesome. evening up the uh, health deficit here. However, Busman is in uh, dangerous chip range right now. Ooh. <gasps> no, no, that's gonna hit. Enough. That's gonna hit. Yeah, not enough. Yep. Yeah. But I do like the idea. That is definitely a good sign if you're Busman, right? That means that you're reacting. It's just you know one of those cases where you didn't have the health to uh, to capitalize off of the the reactions there. Oh, and a the hard read there off of the combo. Yeah. And that's a really hard conversion, so definitely, you know, uh, understandable that uh, Busman dropped that. Here we go. Uh, Let's uh, go for a ride, son. Yeah, string him up. Let's go for another ride. Oh. Ooh. Busman making it happen. Slam the axe down. What are we going to do? Oh, no. Mike Tyson. Drops the combo, wow. unfortunate. Overhead! He just knew. The people's knees. He just knew. Going? No, and he, he dropped the combo. It. This is a huge moment for Busman. He doesn't drop the combo. He gets the hard knockdown. That's going to be a guaranteed round. We are sitting on game point. A piece. Who's going to go up two to one here? Will it be Busman or will it be Dylock? Yeah, oh, the, drops. yeah, he got hit by the final hit, though. That was very smart. Dialog. Oh, beautiful side switch combo there from Dialog. And look at that armor. Where is that arm going? An arm in the oh, good. Right Wow, right what a tech. Good block. Blow. Still in the corner. Can we get out? Nice down one challenge. Overhead. We'll stick of butter for both competitors. And I'm loving the changing in timing from both players right now. Busman is doing a great job of changing up the staggers. Dalak is doing a great job of changing up his spacing. Oh, are we gonna have to break that? Yes. Now, one more back throw from Busman. It's going to guarantee him the game. Good blocks. Yep, the unblockable. Yep. Chip damage territory. What a grab from Dylock. What are we gonna do here? No! Why would you get hit he has, there? He has, he has breaker, he has breaker. Let's see what happens. No! Overhead, he gets in! Just cancel in the spin! Just cancel in the spin! No! Oh my grab. god, no! No! General. Oh my gosh! And Busman is gonna have to figure it out because that was their game to lose. Oh, that all you had to do Geo was just cancel oh into. Oh my goodness! All you had to do was cancel in the spin. He had the chip range. He could have did it, but Dialog snatches it away. Snatches it away from him. I didn't expect to see Geo Dude today. Oh, I did not. Have it, General Shaw, Jax, Tremor, the Pyramid. <laughs> At, will that affect the mental of Busman? He had that game in the bag, and Dialog ripped it away from him. Round one, fight. Oh. 
Oh no. And on this like day. Starting early. <laughs> and on this day, mind you, <laughs> the pyramid. Fighting for your life right now. Uh, uh, uh. One, two. And we got a break there. We need some momentum, bus man. What do you have for us? Come on, bus man. Give us more games. Yeah. Uh, give him the meat for ride. Oh, that was funky right now. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at the damage. Oh, my God, he had more. Now we're going to back up. Let's see yeah. if Dylan is going to make a stake here. Oh, and he knew. Oh, no, that is a high. That wasn't great. Yeah, that is a high. Shades of MK11 now. No doubt, you know, I know Shao is like, yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> it sucks. I had to go through this for a whole game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to suffer like that for two years. <laughs> and he's going to die like right oh. now. Oh, no, the people's need. Uh, armor for armor. Plus. I like that for Dylock. Like he stopped his strength short so he wouldn't get hit by that armor move. Oh, trying to go for an extra stagger nice there. One people's need. Let's go for a ride. Oh, this on, time is, uh, this time is oh, oh. So let's see if Busman can make something out of it. Good grab. Does Busman have more in a tank? Forced to break. Oh, he and has the, the crystal on him. Get on my axe. That's it. Ugh. No. <laughs> He hit it with the taunt oh into the grab. I Dylock love Dylock, yo. Side, top 16. One of the top players, not only in North America, but in the world. Yep. Hey, you want to know what's funny? He's done it pre-patch before, too, you know, when everybody was talking about just how low tier or mid the Quan Chi was. Here comes Mighty Unjust making top three with the character. Yep. Right, right now, the mirror uh, match, Shoe Letter has been putting in a lot of work with the Homelander yeah. as well. I see two milkmen on the screen, but I don't see any milk in their hands. Yeah, it's all business right now as uh, Shoe Letter has a huge life lead right now. But Mighty Unjust, getting the party started. Listen, these life leads can go away oh. so fast. Oh my god, did you see that? Yeah, that was a beautiful meaty there from Mighty Unjust and already has immediately taken the health lead. Era coming in with the assist. Oh, Shoe Letter took it. What a nice combo from Shoe Letter. We're going to go straight into the Fatal Blow. This is going to be kill. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take round number one here with the Fatal Blow. Actually, Wait, he's gonna kill no, he's not. Whoa! Oh, but he did the up punch. Homelander's fatal blow. If there's one thing bad about him, his fatal blow doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, gets oh, the grab he there. Up like your daddy used to. Come this way. Uh uh uh. Nice hard knockdown. But we're waking up buttons. Oh my goodness. And this is the K at the end of the day. We gonna wake up buttons in this piece. Ooh, you might get killed for that. It's mighty unjust gets the whip punish there. All right, knock down what you got. Oh, Armor, wake up. It's a peacemaker. Nice. Got Good interrupt. Ooh, you saw the little back going? step into the low. It's so hard to fuzzy that. Oh, here, get yoked up. And again, how we were talking about how Dylock was super, was very confident in their decisions. Mighty Unjust is another player that exhibits that same kind of confidence, you know, that same behavior, right? You see just how quickly they are, you know, look, like right there, like there's no time oh to think goodness. about it. They've already yeah, decided. Going. Yeah, they're just going. Look, they just. Oh my. He's, he's just, they just in the first state right now. Yeah, they just know. Oh, oh he's here with the you, you trying to wake up buttons on me? Yeah. Mm. Adian just takes the first game. 
Aren't you worried about the blood mixing in with the milk though? Because he's all about like I, listen, the, I don't, I don't the, the, the pureness of it, right? The 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 quality and the taste. Wouldn't the blood kind of sour that? I don't know. I'm, that's, I mean, that's just a thought. I mean, listen, when he's in that mode, just you wipe your mouth first. Man? Just just wipe your mouth first. That's all I'm saying. You know, just, I'm trying to help you out. So he's going, hey, listen, you know what, Homelander put that hand on your shoulder? What do you listen, care what a bunch of mud people No more words need to be spoken at that point. You already know what's going to happen. Round one, fight. Moral of the story, don't make Homelander upset even when he was a kid. I know y'all watched the last, the last season of The Boys. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Shuleta. Shuleta. Oh, what a fast pick up from Shuleta. And you know, you even though, you know with this mirror match here, you're you're seeing the uh, the minor variances in how they decide to pressure their opponent, right? Mighty Gun just opting to go for the grounded meaties, right? Going for the low laser, no going for the mid, right? But Shuleta is opting to go for you know a safe jump setup. It looks like with the jump in. But honestly, you know, it's anybody's game. But what a whip, whip punish. punish, good breaker. That bar. Okay, Mighty Young just has one bar, but Shoe Leather doesn't care about none of that. We going in for the combo. Listen, if you haven't seen the boys yet, I highly recommend it. It's a great, it's a great time. It even has a great spinoff by the name of Gen V. So definitely make sure that you check out that universe for sure. With a low laser, Shoe Leather's running away with this game, Jackal. Yeah, it's a lot of back and forth. Like this game, like I said, you know, this could very much be a game five situation. Oh my god. <laughs> and it seems like everybody's just on one tonight. We have been winning in style all night with the taunts, the bags, and the tosses. We're just we're just going in. We're just going ham right now. Hey, my whole rule and my rule will always be if you don't like me bagging, beat me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Say it again for the people in the back. This is a competitive Home environment. Farrah, Farrah, the great what if Vot's right? What if I am just talent? And in a shocking turn of events, fight. Gross is eliminated from the tournament. Megan's Round in death. Fight. Managing a 3-0 Gross, sending them out in the uh, loser's bracket, which is insane to me. Very surprising indeed. A lot of surprises to be had in this bracket so far. And also another um, update. We have ELG Mari beating STG's Pure to make Winterside top eight. First confirmed player into top eight is ELG's Mari. Whoever wins this match will also be Winterside top eight. Listen, that's a coveted spot in Tampa Never Sleeps, Jack. Oh, yeah, definitely uh, promised land territory for sure. Chuleta. You know, these two have fought before, so there's definitely some uh, some knowledge checking going here, right? And these are, actually, in my opinion, one of the harder matches to fight because when you face against someone who has an idea of your tendencies, you have to constantly keep switching it up, right? And honestly, you're not really seeing too much mix until it gets to the corner. There's just a lot of neutral happening right now. Oh, and there it is. One too many button swift, and that's gonna hurt. It's gonna be a solid 320, 335, excuse me. Oh, and just and got here. hit with the mid. And usually we see this matchup in like a winner's finals or a winner's semifinals, Jaffle. So to see it for, for who makes top eight is crazy to me. Hopefully wow. Amazon is uh, watching right now as their uh, their product is uh, definitely living up to the hype. Another hard knockdown gets the mid, converts, mighty unjust with the round. The mix, the mix is too Fight strong. I can't stop it. Fight. It's the milk, man. It makes your bones strong. Yeah, Make sure milk, those, uh, those meaties land. Out. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Listen, this man had to have a nuke right next to him just in case because you never know with this man. This man is unhinged. Oh, gets the command oh, get yoked up like your daddy used to. Go to the corner. Oh, and the low. Listen, that was a flawless victory from Mighty Unjust.
That's how quickly it can happen to you, Jackal. That's how quickly Homelander... Listen, it's like when Homelander puts his hand on your shoulder. You already know it's over. You just gotta pray at that point. Yeah, there's a reason why whenever he shows up, people say, run. It's not worth. All right, so... Uh, Mighty Unjust taking that second game here. And we're just going to go ahead and get right back into it. And honestly, I, I completely understand this choice because it's, it's been back and forth tug of war all night. And Stuletta has been getting a lot of really strong hits in. It's just, again, Mighty Unjust, once, once he gets you in the corner, he is constantly just cranking out the, you know, just cranking out the options at you. And already we're there. Yeah, oh, get yoked up again. Uh, uh, this is gonna be a nice, healthy amount of damage. 400 for your troubles. Mm, try to interrupt oh, there. You thought you blocked the first mix, but there's multiple mixes that you have to block with Homeland. Yeah, and this is a good punish here. He's gonna go ahead and get out of the corner and pretty much put it on just in the corner. Breaks that. Oh, oh, oh a from Mighty Unjust! I can do whatever the fuck I want! Right. You heard it, folks! And you're seeing it right now! Way to tearless looking, he can really do whatever he wants. Come here, good throw. Let's see what you got for us, you let us. Can we take it to a game five? Okay, well, nah, we fly away. Ooh, good block there. But gets caught. Uh. Trying to go for the big mix. Block right, Farah. Good, good block on Farah. Ooh, Ooh, a little, little bit of a shimmy there. Can't block forever. Mr. Aquaman with the rate of 41. What is up, my brother? How are the seas tonight? Goodness and mighty unjust here with the fatal blow. Will it kill? Juliette is not even trying to defend oh, there. They pretty much figured he's it dead. out at this point. Mm. Delicious. You know who is the true homelander? It is mighty unjust tonight. A very explosive player indeed. Yours will be too if you don't surrender. Hmm. Round one. All right, here we go. A bit of a uh, royal dispute here as we have General Shao facing off against the princess. Oh, yeah. And listen, the princess does not want to give up her throne just yet. And I'm nice loving... Uh, Walking yeah, down. And I'm loving Dialog's use of the various modes from the trimmer, right? You know, definitely making sure to utilize the metallic ball, the metallic uh, ball roll to ensure that they're able to just command the pace. Because mm -hmm. listen, it's plus, and with the new buff to trimmer, it recovers so much faster on the cameo bar. All right, here we go. A little bit of plus frame action here, yep. Look at the plus frames and look at the chip damage. Hourglass and Rain was not able to flawless block any of that damage away. And the raw cameo call there almost caught Hourglass with that. Mm. Hourglass and Rain needs to stop the momentum from dialogue. That's a that's a lot of plus. Yeah, we're just going in. All kinds of plus frames into mix, into more plus frames into mix. But our glass of rain making a move. Wow! Go ahead to stop all that momentum. Come oh here! You, you know how he picked the stuff in the neck like that? That's not very nice. All right, here we go. Getting out of the corner. Oh, there we go. Here with the one, the blockable. I love blocking it, it's great. Next clean hit will kill for either player. Oh, there what? it is. Oh my goodness, just a stand two into the lava burst. I lot first game. Yeah, you know, and again, the use of the metallic ver the metallic form of trimmer has been doing a lot of work for dialogue because it's 
it's like a slight delay, right? Which can kind of mess with your timings and make you feel like there's an opportunity there to to poke or to try to throw something out of there. But it's it's one of those things. It's like a Souls game, right? It looks like a huge windup, yes. and then all of a sudden, just a just a quick snap, and then all of a sudden, you're you're getting you're getting smacked. No outworlder will believe a traitor. We got some updates here. Uh, Akami beat Avo 31st to make top 16 losers. And High Caliber Warriors Dark beat Tragic 3-0 to make top 16 losers side. All right, Dialog there tried to challenge there with that kick. Again, you know, that confidence, right? Just mm -hmm. no fear. Why have fear when we could just press buttons? Ooh, and that's oh, good that down two down wasn't two. the right option. But the armor was. The people speed. Very nice. Overhead. Here we go. Overhead that's again. Mm. Mm. We just swing it. Yeah, getting those staggers going right now. Good interrupt there, realizing that that wasn't real. Locks. One, two. Stand two, right into the slam. And this is Dialog's game plan. This is what he loves to do. But Hourglass of Rain gets the fatal blow confirmed at maybe the front. Yeah, Kung Lao is another cameo that offers a lot of damage for the fatal blow as well. So this will definitely kill here. 513. 513. Round two. Fight. Mm. Beautiful. Try to go the big golf swing for the good whip punch right there. Exactly. Throw them sides, and now you're walked back into the corner. All right, Grab. Trimmer. Wow! And a raw overhead swing. My God, Dialog. What are these moves that Dialog is doing right now? You know, honestly... It only makes sense to him. But what is worse, you know, a lot of the moves that he used kind of have some evasive properties, right? Especially with that overhead swing. Like, he takes a step back a little bit, which can kind of get him out of the way, especially with the fact that Melina is a little stubby. Ooh, oh, for the golf swing. and he doesn't have Breaker. It's going to be one one right now. Hourglass of Rain tying it up. Melina wins. Will we get a game five, chat? This might be the one to do it. I know I said that like two other times today. But this I might thought be the, the one to do it. I thought the Unjustice Juliet the uh, match was going to be a, a, a best, you know, a game five but you know people have just been running away with these matches and i'm telling you like the General the Shuffle. average amount of damage that has been getting that, yeah, that has been getting put out there Kung over the over the, the course game. of these sets has been ridiculous this is your yeah, it's been crazy and beg my forgiveness. the whole thing is like <laughs> Why would I want think that? as we go deeper we'll see more game five but maybe not maybe Round these one. players just have a read on these other players Ooh, we're just going to really get in there. Hourglass of Rain, understanding that Dialog does like to push the pace here. Good Ooh, punish. Block on the overhead. Hmm. Good for me right there. Mm. Gotta hold this mix. Nice one to the challenge. Hmm. Like what our glass of rain is doing, just playing a simplified game. We're going overhead, we're going low, and we're doing the one-two string covered by the Kung Lao assist. Yeah, again, you know, doing it. Yeah, just you know, making it awkward for Shao Kahn to get in there, right? Because for all of Shao Kahn's range, he does have quite a bit of highs, and his longer reaching moves do have a lot of startup. So, you know, good stuff there from our glass of rain, taking advantage of that. I know a lot of people are saying, listen. Shao needs a mid, and by a lot of people, I meant the Shao Kahn name. But listen, Ooh. it's okay, I promise you. What What do you need a mid for when you got this overhead? Mrs. Oh, this is Danilo is gonna get punished for that. That's tough. 
Because one thing Melina can do, Jackal, is just pump out the damage. And you see here, Dalek's not going for as many big buttons as he usually does. He's just keeping the down ones going. But then he gets the setup he needs. Is that no! no, it misses! And that was so smart there from Hourglass of Rain, using the projectile to prevent the break. That was so smart by Hourglass of Rain, but I, that was a heartbreaker for Dylock. I know he wouldn't try that combo if it hasn't hit in the past. So maybe it was just bad timing on that Fatal Blow combo, but it's now two to one for Hourglass of Rain. Yeah, that was a very unfortunate drop there for Dialog. Two key drops really in those last 20 seconds that ended up costing him his positioning and his uh and his life. A word from me, and your secret becomes public. No outworlder will believe a traitor. Is this is gonna be the game five, Jackal. This is where is this where we see it? Alright, we're gonna take it up here. Come on, Dialog. What you got left in the tank? Yeah, I like them size from range. Makes General Shao a bit wary to come in. Use the armor there. It's caught. Yep, that, that sweep plus on block. Oh, from downtown. And Watch another... the combo! Another drop. And you know, it's it's hard to tell, right? Because it looks like it should connect there, but Dalak is just going to go ahead and keep the ball rolling, not letting himself be discouraged. Mm -hmm. So you got to have that wide receiver's mentality. That what drop? That drop didn't happen. Yep, just try, try again. Oh, we throwing these boulders at him. Hourglass of Rain being so smart, just jumping away. There it is. Oh, what a hit. to two. There we go. Yeah, we're not even going to spin the breaker time. right there. We're going to go on to the next round. Yeah, gets that combo this time. Fail, adapt, evolve. Round two. Oh, I love that that round ending uh, animation from Mr. Chow. Oh, oh, and that was oh a really... God. I like that choice from Dialog. You know, try to avoid the, the hat there, but it was just a little late. Strong boulders. Yeah. Or just range. Get into their range. Mm. Good mm. grab from Dialog. Punch them dead in the face. Oh, they did the up block there. Yeah, I'll go to range. Give them for a ride. Good blocks. Good block from Dialog. Get some started. No! Let's get the party pop in. No, drops it. What are we gonna do here? Can Dialog make this comeback? He's done it before, not this time. Yeah, and that was good on Hourglass of Rain. You know, checking the Tremor uh, cameo call there. Match point. Hourglass of Rain. Right now, running away with it. That stagger right there, Jackal. It catches so many people lacking. Oh, and this is gonna be big combo damage right here. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a good uh, wake up option there from Dalak here. Now it's gonna be forced to block. Gets hit with the grab. This could be the final chapter. Let's see it though. Got the green on the game green. Ooh, what? That was so smart from Dalak. Into the fruit! Here with the uh, the teleport drop, if you will, right? Along with the slide. So Kid, she's gonna have to be careful with those striker calls because that, oh no, we're going with the Ferritor instead. This went straight up punish and I respect it. Yeah, what I was going to say is with the buffs that Reptile has gotten over the past months, He's turned into a very solid character, but listen, at the end of the day, Kenshi's gonna Kenshi, and Sento's gonna Sento. Yeah, Santa's little helper right now is getting all the work that they can handle, if they can. 
Yeah, you ain't even get a chance to play that round. You ain't, you just put your controller down. It's over. Fight. And that beautiful check. That's a great check there on the fair twin. There it is, that drop. Yeah, we just gonna spit on him. Overhead from long range. We love it. Woo! Where are you going? One striker call. We use two striker calls, so it's going to be a while before striker can throw another grenade. All right, here we go. Red nose gets the um, and then dark gets the uh, opening that they need here. Nice help, please. Oh, so no, even this though is red bad. Is the opener. No, there's, there's this help on the screen, I believe. Yep, just block it out. You got the meter. Even with this hit here, you still have time. Got mixed again. This is very bad. And there the it is. Armor. He could have died for that jackal. Very yeah. nice. But it's one of those situations, right, where Red Nose had to stay on the offensive. Any any opportunity, and Darts could have chipped out there. So that was good on uh, Darts to uh, take advantage of that situation there. Checks the Sinto Spirit two times, three times, and Red oh my Nose goodness. is so <laughs> smart. You see that Kenton timer almost out. Listen, we're going to bring him back. You thought he was gone? No, he's right here. And what did I say earlier? They just know when to throw that move out. They just always seem to connect it. Yeah, we're gonna get him out of there. The, uh, the assists are not being allowed to play right now as both players are just checking the, the assist calls. It's the overhead. Grab. Sento loses in special moves in the stance. He gets, he gains great range on his buttons. Ooh, good check there. Yeah. That's plus, yeah. Do not mm -hmm. backdash on me. Come here. Freeze. Kenshi wins. Yeah, Kenshi. Kenshi's gonna Kenshi at the end of the day. It's your job to make sure he does not put you in that Sento situation. All right, so Red Nose coming away with that first game there, but Darks looked like they was figuring it out, you know, towards the end there. So we're going to see uh, how things shake out so far. sister? He can be so immature. Round one. Wit, the same cameo choice for Darks. The block on the overhead. Yeah, and we got the, we got the grenades listed on block. We will take that armored move, though. So... So we'll be down for a little bit, but guess what? He's right back, and you put yourself in a sandwich. Nice. Taking advantage of the fact that uh, Red Nose is trying to take their turn back. Gets the teleport drop here. Gets the full combo. Oh! Oh my god, that was so clean. That's what Darks wanted the last game. Now he's putting it together. Woo! Where are you oh, he going? Did it again. He did it again. Oh my god. Yeah, understanding that Red Nose is trying to take their turn back as soon as possible. Is just gonna go ahead and let the Ferritor rip. Mm. Gonna get oh, sent he just whip woke up there. with it. Oh my goodness. And another whip punish. You gotta be careful. Those reptile acid balls are really strong in the neutral. Oh, and guess who's out? Guess guess where my friend is? He's right here. Big Sento, he always has my back. Oh, block the armor oh, this, not time. this time. Uh, 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 uh. Gonna go for the ship here. Gets the overhead, but drops the combo. Boy, didn't even need to spin the bar to get Sento back. Just goes in for the grab. Final round. Fight. All right, here we go. It's time to party. Yeah, you had the break there. That's a lot of damage that's going to be uh, stacking up there. Sento's still out. Since Sento's always going to be my friend. Yep, and whenever, Red Nose does have the meter. Whenever I feel bad, Sento. That's it. How you in the sandwich? How is this fair, chat? He's getting jumped right now. Woo! Look at the chip damage, too. I need Dark to start flawless blocking some of these. Yeah, Darks had an opportunity to strike back there when uh, Red Nose whipped earlier, but by that point, the condition had already set in. 
Darcy's gonna have to play perfect right now. Only 10 health points available. Oh, trying to get something going. Oh, that would be clean. Overhead. Oh! oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. One more hit. One more hit. Can he find it? Waiting for Kishi to, to come for, back. Uh, to come back. Yeah, and the chip damage. Chip out. As soon as he was able to put the sword back, it was going to get very tough for Darks. Darks is, Darks is trying. You know, for, if, again, Darks has been getting a lot of clean hits with that back three, but Red knows he is building up so much early real estate for themselves that by the time Dark starts to get their offense going, it's, om it's almost too little too late. So Darks is going to have to try to find a way to take that early momentum away from Red Nose because it is the Sento mix-ups there that is absolutely draining the life from them, quite literally. Oh, in the raw overhead, but the drop. the combo not what you want to see in this business and i like the jump back there from darks for sure trying to stuff the sento red nose good awareness break that Woo! Ooh, and then a nice Ooh, side that's switch hitting red nose a lot uh, hard knockdown what's breakfast blocks the overhead oh and the micro duck it's, it's tough out here what you gonna do with it though Ooh. Overhead. No, oh, and the meeting was just a little load. late, a little early. But also, Red Nose messed up his Sinto callout timing. There he is. There's my friend. Yeah, I'm freaking out of the Oh, that's so oh unfortunate. God, that's a heartbreaker. You can't mess my focus. Round two. Fight. That is definitely just a soul wrenching read right there. Match point. Red nose. Good blocks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing reptile things. Ooh. Trying to catch a whip there. Gets it. Gets another whip punish, but Striker's there to save the day. Nice bonus block. Oh, this is bad. Sinto's out again. Try to get out of the way there. Plus, strikes back. Sinto just came back. Sinto's back. Efro, very nice. You backed into oh, Sinto. Back. You oh. had to. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, Sinto's gone. Freeze. Oh, another oh, one. Another grab. This is dangerous territory. No! He thought he was gonna try to grab up. again. Final chance for Dark. What you got for us? Oh! So we're gonna armor through. And we just left a mess on the floor. Somebody clean that up. Shouldn't Kenshi be dead right now? He's on top of cancels, though. Yeah, and not to mention, Ermac does, you know, do better than Tanya in the range department, which is what we've been seeing beat Tanya in this bracket. So, you know, Striker's definitely going to be, uh, you know, playing around with that range right thing and probably the character two to character three range, which is the range that Tanya tends to struggle in. But right now, Striker's just getting the game, you know, getting the party started early. Yeah, and these small hits are going to add up in the future. Mari needs to get some hits on his own. And listen, the Tanya Motaro, you know that low shot's coming, and you know that low shot's coming off. Oh, yeah. Plus one on block, you know, allows for uh, some strength to uh, have a mix of capabilities. The striker getting this damage going right now. Uh, no, drops the combo. That's a drops huge the combo. Listen, and like I said earlier, with Ermac, you have to make sure your combos are on point. And, you know, I like that call, that cameo call from Striker. You know, using the uh, Janet assist to try to catch Mari jumping the the ground spark. But smart decision there for Mari to just sit there and block it. What a cameo armor through from Striker. You need the Janet Cage nut punch to end that round. Very smart. Ooh, and another beautiful down too. That's two for two for Mari. Yeah, you're just in the corner. You're just here. 
You're gonna have to hold this for a minute. Fine. Yeah. Right there. Glitch into tempo. Oh, then drop it this time. Mario makes it. Because why not? Finishes the string. Will they? Won't they? All right, nice low. Yeah, we're gonna armor through again because why not? Especially with Motaro. Ooh, exactly that. that exactly that. Sick. If my armor move gets blocked, oh, guess what? I'm gonna just teleport away. I've no been telling people this shit it. for sorry. fucking months. I'm sorry, but Motaro's been this good since. <laughs> like he always had that. <laughs> I'm so glad to see more people playing them, I swear. <laughs> Goodness, we getting some mixes here. Yes! Yeah, we're more! Out. Yeah, do it again! You can play so lame with this team. I know, it's and great! so aggressive, it's crazy. Like, you can do both play styles. Uh, oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, man! I like it! Each tail shot is plus on block and is a launcher, so you have to be careful of those because they track as well. Uh oh, no breaker on the side of Mari though. How much damage are we looking at? Going to get Just do now. it. Armor first. Good throw break. Get your hand off you. No wow, spit. And so the... spit. Oh my god. Soul spit when you block it is plus on block. You have to duck soul spit in that situation. But you never know when it's gonna come out. Striker takes the first game. I mean, it's, Mari definitely has a shot definitely. here. Yeah, Mari. Ma, I mean, Mari has a chance here because Mari again was starting to wake up towards the end, started incorporating a lot more usage of a lot more variety of varietal usage of the Motaro cameo. Right, using the tail shot was a great call. But you have to be prepared for that, right? You have to be ready for any event that they decide to just sit there and block. Because you can combo off of throws using those tail shots. So I want to see if Mari has uh, something else to to catch Striker off guard with. Oh, no. But hey, listen. On reversal, it might be safe. So why not throw it out? Oh, no. They eat. Wake up. All right, here we go. Plus on block. Yep, getting caught there. Too many hits. Oh, and a beautiful call out there from Mari. Uh, uh. Like, Tanya's game plan is so Oh, that was so Like, her game plan is just, it's just this. You can really get into a player's head like, man, why can't I stop this? Because it's Tanya. Oh my gosh, and Mari is just partying right now, cranking out these spin kicks. As long as you have full Motaro Jackal, throw it out. Why not? Gets the power up. All right, good block there on the sweep. Oh, delayed the, the meaty there, but again, Mari is showing no fear with these wake ups. Oh, but he whips the string there. He's gonna get some damage here from Ermac. Uh. That hits! Yeah, that's good recognition there from Striker, knowing that Mari was gonna delay Wake Up there to avoid the overhead. Fight. Around, everyone has a fully loaded shotgun. The ball bars. Here we go. Going to the corner. Uh. Oh, but this is the extension. Get soul spit, that's plus. Wow. We're just gonna arm it through. We don't care about none of that. Oh my gosh, do it again. But what a, a punish. Flip punish. What a punish. Oh, just do it some more. Oh, from down, oh, down. Kick. And it's spike. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, putting the overshield on. Trying not to get robbed here. Death you're not gonna take any damage from this. Oh, and a nice, nice reversal cameo call. Again. That's 2-0 to strike to hold up a second. <laughs> Ermac is looking strong tonight, Jack. I like
like seeing it. Ermac is one of my favorite characters to watch right now. Uh, Ermac, you know, Takeda, I love those free flowing style characters that just have insane combo, you know, potential. And right now, Striker is giving us a visual treat with all of these different conversions. I mean, like, how many souls does this man have? You know, like, does he need all them souls? What did you say? Why not? Do we see the switch to the Scorpion Pharah, which has been a strong, strong team in the past. What? Yeah, again, you know, speaking earlier about how Scorpion stock has been steadily rising throughout the game's competitive meta. Competitive meta. And again, you know, you're going to be seeing a lot of that trip up, you know, that spear right there. Especially with the Ferator, you know, that's a long range 50 50 that you're going to have to deal with. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to deal with it. Like, there's no way out of it, there's no way around it. You're dealing with it. Just a mix up there with the mid. I, I don't think Striker very much cares about this scorpion. I don't think he cares much about this scorpion. Yeah, understanding that, uh, you know, Mari's trying to force the issue here and just staying out of those ranges. Again, the range game is the play here, but Mari getting the start. No, trying to get a side switch. Oh, no. A big drop. Finally gets the overhead, but it's blocked. Mix up time. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Scorpion gets so uh, much off uh. of this mix. With that safe jump. Yep, just get out of there. Nice anti air with the stand jab. Ooh, very nice anti air. Right this way into another Woo! mix. Get strong. Hold on, it may not be over Fight. just yet. Uh oh, and another one. Gets flipped again. Someone told this man to block. Beautiful conversion there from Mari. Is this no the duck. choice that gets Mari back into this game? You know, Mari's looking really strong right now with the Scorpion pick. Overhead, you didn't block your cabeza. Oh, we're going for damage. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no! Drop the Ender. That's a combo. Listen, we get it. we pick it back up. And you ain't got breaker. Wow! Just Overhead, ran into space. Woo. In the down two. Are we getting some off this? Oh my god. Oh. God, just in the first like two seconds, you get yoked up like your mama used to right this way to the corner. Nice challenge from Hourglass Rain. This one's going to be a good one. I'm here again. Do not go too far, baby girl. I need you. Whoa! What type, was, what type of Star oh no! Girls mix was that? Yeah, that was a little funky right there, Victor. Good Friends block. Right no, yeah. the ball roll. Hey, listen, Melina always got to do the ball roll. I respect it. Overhead. Wow, Hold just jumps low. right out of it. The block! What an up block. But no, the ball roll is just too low in that situation. The EX Heat Vision. Me. Round two. Fight. Ooh, good duck. Oh, and a whip punch there. Whip but... No, he mm. drops it. Listen, it doesn't matter. You gave me another chance to kill you. Or Your fingers have to worse. be tired at this point. I just. I just yeah, know I mean, are. I don't know how people, like people with strike, I mean, people with um, Ermac, people with Homelander, I don't know how you do it. Yeah, Mighty Unjust made it look academic at first game. Homelander wins. Mm, 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 mm. 
And this man said, drink up. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. We've seen Hourglass in this situation before against Dialog. He lost the first game and came back to win the set. You need me. You need me to save you. I would never entrust you with Outworld safety. Well, right, we see the switch to Chameleon piece. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. Listen. Yeah, I, I like that pick right there. You already see the value utilizing the Jade Glow to not have to deal with the zoning as much. Oh, yeah, but listen, when it goes away, guess what? You're going to deal with these heat visions. Yeah, but you got to be careful there because, you know, you got the zone, the counter zoning there as well. The Jade Glaive. Mm -hmm. Good block there. Block on the overhead. overhead. Yep, checks the kick. Tried to break there. But uh, didn't have cameo available at the time. Very nice from Hourglass. Today. Using that teleport to get in. And the uh, mix. Uh, that's what Vermillion gives you, boys and girls. Gives you that added layer of mix. Yep, and at this point, you got a nice health lead. You're just going to go ahead and run away with it, quite literally. Good duck there nice on the grab. From Hourglass Rain to duck the command grab. Round two. But that's information Five. for Unjust as well, you know, because he's been doing that grab pretty much as a test to see if you're ducky or not, right? So now you're starting to see the lows. Yeah, hard knockdown. Guess what you like? Yeah, I know you're looking for that grab now. So now I'm about to just start cranking out these mids, these overheads, forcing you to deal with it. Yep, there it is again. Oh, the low. We're going to have to break here at some point. No, we're not. We're just gonna hold it. All right. Final round, fight. Yeah, nice ball roll. Very nice. Oh, I love this day so much. And round three music is so good. Oh, we're going for it. Didn't get the dash. Oh my gosh. Wow. They're down. Sweet. Start the game plan. Yep. Let's start the game plan. Or knockdown. What are we going to do here if you're hourglass? Overhead again. Good grab. Grab him again. Oh, I would have got hit. That's why I'm down here and they're up there. Good blocks. There we go. Going to check that. Oh, no. what the flow is... Wow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I can cover the ground and the air in that situation. I'm telling you, this music charges up, charges you up when you're playing. I'm telling you. Shout out to William Roje and company, man. Y'all did a phenomenal job with this OST. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that again. No, they did an amazing job. Like after MK11's music was kind of eh, you know, Justice yeah. 2's music is kind of superhero music. So I do understand you need me. this game you has need some me. good tracks on it. You. Oh, yeah, for sure. I would never entrust you with Outworld safety. Round one, fight. I expected to see a close set here, so I am not surprised that it is 1-1. One, one. Yeah. And already Mighty Unjust is getting things started with the zoning here. Forcing Hourglass for Brain to make a decision. Gets the right one. What? Oh, kind of tricky. I'm talking about SSX. The mix. Very good mix from Hourglass Rain. Keeps the corner as well. Right this way, sir. Nice duck. You ain't never seen no powers like this in the seven, Homelander. Uh, oh my gosh, the corner carry is insane from this Wait, character. He, he, he call, I like 
he called Chameleon on wake up there, knowing that Homelander was gonna go in the air, but it may not matter. We break. Yeah, just get out of the way. Oh, we're going he for it. He like your mama used to. What a good read from Mighty Unjust. Round two, fight. And that is so unfortunate for Hourglass of Rain too, because they were doing everything they could to maintain the health lead, but Mighty Unjust understood that and immediately went for the command grab there. You can't run from this man forever. Hard knockdown. Oh, try to fuzzy guard Go here. We got caught. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa! Oh, and that was a little Gate funky there with the sky up. switch. And we spent the bar so that Melina could not break. Now, you see Hourglass Rain jumping back and trying to catch wind. Oh my god. Wow. These conversions we just seen tonight, big. We got mixed. Are we going to spin the breaker here? Yes, we are. We, we will not let you have that fatal. Uh, and the laser beam to the eyeball. 2 1. Mighty Unjust. Yeah, Hourglass was definitely trying to get something started there, but at that point, you know, with that little health remaining, you had to pretty much play perfect there. And once uh, Unjust had that space, just took advantage. Melina, Homelander, Farrah. with the Melina. We got a Melina main here. You need me. You is need is this going to be the one that goes to a game five? We've been saying it all night. I'm not saying nothing. All right, I'm not saying anything. I've been listen. We've been wrong all night. All right, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. Here we go, though. The winners finals. Oh my goodness, got some two kicks in there. Some good damage here. All right, just trying to maintain the spacing here. Trying to find an opening. Gets it. Oh yeah, we had to break that. Don't let that happen to me. And I'm liking how active our glass of rain is being right now. Trying to make sure that they are keeping uh, Mighty Unjust from getting something started with that grab. No one can oh, just walk up and throw him. Why not? Hmm. Get the micro dub. That's a win. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, that's plus three. Not move. Mm. Oh, well, I told him not to move and he still moves. So, I mean, look, it's tough. Listen, that's the leader of the seven. That is a scary person right there, you know? We're going on to match point. The mighty unjust. Need a break. Round two. Fight. And he asked him, do you need a break? So condescending. Oh, trying to go for gold there with the roll. Gonna have to hold this damage. Nice armor oh, to get out. Good armor through. And look at Farrah just so upset, man. I couldn't I couldn't mix her, man. I couldn't. Right. Nice challenge. Gonna break right away as soon as we get a chance. Yep, utilizing the Jade Glow there, but still have to be careful for the grab. Nice whip punish there. Try to go for oh, a mix what up a with the micro grab. Dunk. Yo, stop like your mommy you two and you are a dead man. Walking No sweat. Brutality. Finally got it. Homelander. I will never entrust you with outworld safety. Yep, so we're gonna get another uh, iteration here of Molina versus Homelander. So here's to see how uh Shuleta and uh, Dexy Dog uh, run this matchup. Oh, yeah, Shuleta and Dexy Dog are up. Now listen, Dexy Dog has been running the Melina Canoe for as long as I've known. And oh my, what? Oh my god, what was that? One hope. Oh, and the back tech there for the grab. Great stuff there from Shuleta. 
and uh, definitely a lot more reserve in this approach from both players, right? And as soon as I see that uh, Jaxi Dog tries to crank out a uh, ball roll open neutral, it gets punished for it, so now you're going to go to the wall. So you got to put it in their life. You got to you got people being willing to do random ball roll so that they get, a, they get a little bit scared, a little scared. Yep. You know, it's been working since the 90s, so... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And hand me at once, Heathen. Very good throw break. Yep, two for two. Yeah, definitely okay, a lot yo, more. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot more patient neutral for both players, but Chuleta, you know, doing a great job of getting those whip punishes and just making some strong choices here. Fight. Yeah, like Chuleta has been making good choices all throughout the day. Hey. Let's not count out Dexy Dog until it is truly, truly over. Because Dexy Dog is the one to make some great comebacks. And a third tech from Shuleta. Shuleta is doing a great job here of just not Wait, getting caught. He hard. just swung after that. We love to see it. But drops a combo. We hate to see it. All right, here we go. Shuleta's turning up the heat. And Good finally, grab. Dexy grab. Dog gets a grab. On Katana. All right, won't be able to use Chameleon for a little bit here. What we're gonna do here, nice low Ooh. ball roll. And breaks right, it break. anyway. I don't that know. Is I don't so know if that's a good idea. Right now. I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, you're done. You're dead. Wow, and Dexy Dog staying in the pocket and staying alive. We are one round apiece. That breaker definitely came back to haunt him right now. I don't even think alive. He didn't need to spin the fatal blow at all. So we have it for this final round. If yeah, need. and that was the round that Dexy Dog needed. The confidence is definitely uh, kicking in right now as they get the conversion off the background. What is this damage? Whoa! 250 off of a back grab? 50 off of a grab into mix. Oh no, but it's the milkman's time. He's home. Oh, here we go. He's Let's home. Oh, you can't block it. It's tough. It's tough to block it. If you block it, you get a full combo, but you gotta block it. Oh no, he did the grab! That is so tough for Dexy Dog. That was the final read of the game. Is he gonna do command grab or not? He gets on. Finish him. That was an insane first game from both players there. You know, started out slow, you know, trying to see the tendencies there, trying to get a feel for each other. And then after that second round, it was just fireworks all around. So good stuff there for both of our players. And we're going to go ahead and keep the matches going. Dexy Dog definitely made some things happen, but it definitely looked like a case of uh, just getting the element of surprise going on Shaletta. Because mm -hmm. in the open neutrals, Shaletta was pretty commanding. You know, getting a lot of whip punishes, getting the shimmies they were looking for, making those hard reads when needed. Yeah, I mean, Shuletta was looking very solid there. Where Dexy Dog was getting the momentum is when he had Shuletta in the corner. And as we see right now, Dexy Dog walking him down to that spot. Uh, we're instantly getting out using that fair to cover our tracks with a good grab from Dexy Dog. Mm -hmm. All right, utilizing those angles there with the zoning. Oh, and the glow, so you can't zone me out. But you're going to do the low laser. But guess what that means? That means you have to get close to me. It means I can use my size to give me extended range on my buttons. Yeah, Dexy Dog with the health lead. Good block, good block. Block on the low. What a jump, but nothing comes of it. Oh my 
goodness, what a conversion from Shuleta. He gets hit with the one, two, has to break. Yeah, that was definitely looking like a death combo big. Oh, wait, this, hey, I think we might've spoken too soon. Mm. There it is. I am the master race. Round two, fight. Homeland is just looking like a problem. Yeah, Dexy Dog was able to get out of the corner, but again, Shuleta getting the opening that they need. Put them back in the corner. Oh, big boot, Kevin Nash. Big boot again. Mm, good block there on the oh, overhead. Good block. Four hundred forty. That's tough. Oh, and the micro duck. You all saw it. We all saw it over there. All right, we're moving. Shuleta is one round away from taking it up 2-0. Dexy dog, but Dexy's not going to go away lightly. Three seconds left. We got plenty of time to work with, boys and girls. Oh, what a block. Yeah, and Overhead. He might you can feel you the got tension. opened up. Yeah, that was a real intense round because you saw that both players were not taking any chances. It's just pure movement in that neutral. What a low. No, he didn't believe. Good low, though. Era, my friend. Up with the Molina Ballo, the only cameo reversal that is also a pop up in this game that is left. Nice duck on the command grab. We're going for a ride again. Ooh, couldn't even punish it. You were too far away. He gets another hit. This may be it because you know Molina just eats with the damage. Yeah, that was definitely a good cleanup there from Dexy Dog, right? Just being able to uh, react to those ranges where Shuleta was trying to fish for hits. Because in those earlier rounds, Shuleta was definitely catching Dexy Dog in those like awkward ranges where Melina can't really do too much. Because again, a lot of her normals only go so far. They only really go about a character length away. So Shuleta was doing a great mm -hmm. job of staying out of those ranges, but Dexy Dog was cleaning that up. Started to actually take the take the chance to walk into Homelander's danger zone to try to get those whip punishes when they need them. Now you, I am done with caped villains. Yeah, now it's one one. Let's see what you can do here. Round one, fight. Man, oh, what a jump! Okay, he's armor two. Nice down one. My goodness. Yeah, right now shoot looking really good. Like Dexy Dog on the prowl. The grab. Started something beautiful. Let's find out. Size, good block. Shuleta doesn't need to overextend here. All right. In the corner. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Gets an overhead for the knockdown. Yep. And there it is. Shuleta to wait to patiently. Had to break. Yep. And Shuleta's just content just being here, right? He has full meter. Oh, my goodness. What That'll a nice play. From shoe letter just as soon as Melina gets into that range we're gonna forward for it yeah exactly right because again I have the meter I have the meter advantage I have the health advantage I have no reason to give you what you're looking for and now she let this push in the face or knockdown Ooh. good down what challenge though deck to yeah we're gonna fly away I don't want to deal with that no they get the oh that right could have been a massive room. punish but instead, you're going for a ride on the train of Homelander. Oh my goodness. Wow, no what beautiful I, read there. These jumps from Shuleta, 
He's been amazing tonight. He just knows. He knows. All right, there it is. Shuleta up games, two games to one. These matches have been all down the line. Again, you know, for what it's worth, even though there's been a lot of three ones, it's been some very hard fought matches. It's, it's just mm -hmm. the, the damage output, you know, Ferritor offers a lot in that, you know, in that department and Chameleon as well. Chameleon living for and we're gonna stick First it out man, with the Molina Chameleon. Now remember, boys and girls, this is it. losers. Loser right. of this Where's set that? does not get to move along with us. Round one, fight. We had a big spin. Good long range low. Good old Farah, Lander's best friend. That's a lot of damage in 10 seconds. Jeez. A bully ball going off the whole line. Okay, good grab from Dexy Dog. Put him in the corner. And match point, Shuleta. Oh my goodness. Round two. This could be over quick. Fight. Listen, I'm not saying I'm rooting for you, Dexy Dog, but we haven't seen the game five tonight, so listen. I need you to step it up. I think Shuleta heard you. He's like, man, what, what did you have to say that for? Mm -hmm. Now now I gotta do this. See what you're making me do? Whoa! It's fine, listen, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That was a crazy sequence there from Juleta. Oh, we're going for a ride. This may be it. Drop the combo. That definitely would have killed, but this one, this one shall kill. You still haven't seen the game five tonight. Kind of upset. Apologizing. That throw is, is comedy. Yeah. We'll be facing off against Mari. And then uh, wrapping up the uh, initial round of top eight, we have a Maki facing up against Red Nose. So here it is. Homelander facing up against Liu Kang. Yeah, right? I am, I am kind of shocked. Actually. See what it gives them though. I mean, listen, like I said, everybody needs a pocket Tanya. Maybe everybody needs a pocket Homelander as well. Unhand me at 120. Oh, wait. He's very determined to get that grab. Very nice. Oh, that is crazy. What was that? That is actually how you, crazy. How do you even think about punishing that? Right? You that have to know. You have to be willing to even go up there. Okay, very nice. From Akami. See what you can get from it. One, two, one. Stagger him. Yep, and with the Motaro low shot of, uh, you know, constantly a threat there, you got to be careful because, you know, that 4-4 four, four strain does have a gap in there that you can flawless block. But, again, Motaro can very easily blow that up, so you got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and that was a good challenge there. Amaki on the board. That is Homelander. He is not respecting health? anything. Even, even with the less health, I mean, this Luke King Motaro team is so strong. Yeah, it covers a lot of angles. Gives uh, Luke King an opportunity to get some uh, potential mix up opportunities. Lots of chip damage, right? And counter. Oh, building. what a good punish. Yeah, just do it. Get yeah. out of there. Wake up. Block on the low. These laser beams are really giving Akami trouble. Oh wait, I was, I was, I guess I misspoke because that dragon's tail came out with a vengeance. This 
pseudo zoning game. Red no, uh oh, he's in. Wu Kang is in with Motaro. Ooh, good damage there. Gets the meaty. And this is where the runaway game comes in. Yep. And you have to get into Liu Kang's face, and that's where Liu Kang strives, and we're going for the brutal just to prove a point. He didn't even need to do it, Jackal. He wanted to do it. Listen, I've been loving it all night. I, again, give me the toxicity. Give me the swag. Give me the confidence, you know? Again, MK has always been a disrespectful game. It's, it's designed exactly. that way, right? You're punching people's heads off, cutting people in half, throwing people down off of buildings, bridges, what have you. Like, it's, it's a game where you're meant to, to, to be rude, to, rude and disgusting to your opponent. Exactly. It is exactly. not mere fire. It is godly wrath. Round one, fight. All right, what can we do here for Red Nose? We must really not like the Kenshi matchup into Liu Kang if he's choosing Homelander here. And, you know, thinking about it, I can see that, right? Because Liu Kang's projectile speeds are quick enough to not only check Sento, but to really hurt Kenshi if he whips anything, right? Like, he, yeah. he doesn't really have that much range. So, against a team like this that's going to constantly keep you at those awkward ranges, Kenshi might actually struggle a bit, even with having uh, a cameo such as Striker backing him up. Fight. Yeah, it's just, it's just tough for Homelander right now. Um, Red Nose getting something started now. He has to keep up his momentum. He can't let Liu Kang start his offense. Yep, and we're just getting out of there. All right, some zoning. Yeah, I can do that too. Oh, Try to challenge there. there. Yeah, Red Nose tried to challenge there once they saw Maki dashed up, but Maki was already ready to go. Good block. Oh, and a punish! First punish we've seen all night on the Ferritor. Wow. Oh, what a he's fireballs. It's happening. Yeah, interrupt the Motaro. Yeah, that's punching away. We didn't get a full punish, unfortunate. No! We dropped it! Yeah, and that could very much easily come back to haunt Red Nose, but they're gonna get the grab. Oh, no, I am better. Oh, drop the ending sequence right there. You hate to see it. Yeah, the nerves are starting to kick in for top eight, big. Oh yeah, definitely. Use of this goes away, goes away from our TV screens. Yeah, try to get yeah, those some, fireballs. Uh, gonna eat up the space. Yeah, trying to counter zone here, but Amaki is doing a great job of just changing up the timings on those fireballs. What a jump. I wish you would have got the punish with it. Oh, well, here we go. We're getting started in the corner. We're going to fly out. Okay. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, like everything to see more does have. Uh, yeah, I mean, something I would like to see more from Red Nose is some flawless block attempts, right? Because... But what does yes. work? You know, you gotta mitigate. You gotta you gotta mitigate the the damage where you can. Yeah, and that's a big plus frame setup right there. Get all these frames right in Homelander's face. Oh, for Akami. We see the switch to the Kenshi jacket. Maybe, maybe not. It doesn't look like the Homelander is giving him the answers that he wants. We're going to stick with it. He's going to bet his tournament life on the Homelander. It is not mere fire. It is godly wrath. Round one. Be fair. I'd put it on the Homelander too. He's a safe bet. Yeah, you know. Not when you drop the combos, though. Right. I mean, Homelander's been putting in overtime tonight. Oh, didn't oh, yeah, get the combo good. again. Uh, 
Oh, right, a lot of black Oh, nice anti air. Oh, the fly yeah, out. Just, wow, and held it. That is such a tricky situation to deal with. The forward four. Bad news. Then he gets frames on him. Guess what? We're out. You can't even punish it. Yeah, it's definitely a very strong, you know, option there with the Motaro. Like, I don't even Ooh. need to be in the corner against you. I throw one fireball, I'm gone. Match point. Akami. Oh, no duck there on a string. That second hit is a high. Grab right here. Safe jump. Oh, that's that's very smart. I haven't seen that interaction before. Oh, uh, here we go. The conditioning is setting in. Maybe not. Amaki ducking the grab with the side switch. Yep, plus frames. Plus frames. All these plus frames. What are you going to do about it? They're so oppressive. Yeah, got to be careful there. More pressure. And a rather the, the most hey. hard low shot. That is a way to get out of it. Oh, here we go. Come on, dude. Come here. Talk to you. Good block. We're out. And this is the moment where you got to start to push the issue when Motaro is charging up because, oh, there it is. Managed to close the distance. Nice stand one in that. Nope, not yet. Wow. And more than enough to bury you. <laughs> Round one. I, I love that costume for Ermac so much. It's great. Isn't it? Alright. Yeah, Radio get him out that float. Yep, immediately checking the uh, levitation and stuff. And we're just gonna go ahead and wake up. I like that striker is not afraid to use that wake up, even though it is a high. Not afraid to use it. Exactly, right? Because you have to, again, like, a, a very telltale sign of, you know, getting um, of Jeff, basically, as a player is when the other player is able to discourage you. And that's the whole thing about conditioning, right? We see it all the time. You know, people love to talk about it. They're mashing. They're always pressing. It's, it's a mind game, you know? If you're not convincing me that I should stop, then I'm not going to. Right. It's on, it's on you to stop me. It's not on me. Exactly. Like, I'm confident in my decisions. Are you? All right, we get the breaker. Here we go. No bars for either of them. We have depths and grace. Why can you build bar when you have depths and grace? I don't know. Like Homelander taking that first round. Fight. Mighty Unjust still looking strong. I just noticed the Roomba with the little cowboy on it. Oh my gosh. That is insane. <laughs> Yo. Look, it's he's still going. Moving. He's just minding his business. No, oh, no you broke it. it. No, you broke it. He was just doing his job. Also, he's going to clean up the blood off the floor. It's not going right. to be me. Yeah, Mighty Unjust looking very strong this round. Oh, yeah, definitely with that last block. Oh, no, no dice there on the teleport punch. Ooh. We're going with the Brute. Sending the message oh, no. early. Are you okay? Brutality. Homelander. Wins. How you send a message, though? Let them know. This ain't gonna, this ain't gonna go the way you think it's gonna go. Mm-hmm. So that's three brutalities so far from Homelander. I wonder how many Unjust has unlocked. We got the good ones though. Oh, so we got the oh, yeah. we got the lobotomy. We got the lobotomy uh, brutality. We got the the clapper, and then we got the the eye gouge. How do you effectively deal with with someone getting on your nerves? You go for the head. Go for the head. That's it. Mm -hmm. Round one, fight! 
All right, to game number two. Mighty Up Just is up 1-0. Ooh, I like that blue no. one there. I like how they didn't restrict the float from Ermac. They're just like, hey, you can float whenever you want to. Right. right. If you have the execution, you just float. Yeah, and I actually love that in fighting games. Characters that can be really strong, but you have to earn it. You know, like you have to know how to make it work, how to flow, as you said. Ooh, where you Got going? Go. What a Ooh. good hit. Oh, he tried to, he tried to, oh no, he did yo stuff. Yeah. This is not gonna kill him, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. Striker tried to get something going with the slide there. You know, there are certain cameos that can pick characters up from the little pop-up that happens when you get a sweep, but it's very hard to pull off. Yep, puts on the overshield. It's embrace. Blocks. This is gonna be it, yeah. Can't cancel me. So I'm guessing uh, if you're Round underneath a certain amount of health points, then the overshield just kind of gives you maybe like. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking at this point. Yeah. Just like a couple hits, right? It's kind of like uh, what they, you know, when you get the, uh, the last press. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Strike the Oh, that's what he wants. That's what yep. he wanted in the last round. Yep. Got the timing down. Oh my gosh. Striker. Getting mighty unjust with the taste of his own medicine. That's what I love so much about her magic in game. Like, listen, do you want to float when you're high up in the air or do you want to float when you're one inch off the air? Don't matter. Don't matter. Wow, and the break from on the other side is very unfortunate there for a uh, striker. However, Mighty Unjust, getting the party started. Major health deficit for Striker. Striker does have the meter advantage. No, and the overhead. The meter's not gonna matter unless you get that breaker soon. There it is. Ooh, try to up block there. Yeah, he's backing up. Oh, yeah, we're gonna keep no. it safe. We're gonna keep it safe for Terra. You know, and Striker Listen, tried to, to challenge. Them. Yeah, Striker tried to challenge there, but it's one of those situations where you actually have to meet them in the air in order to get that right. So you tried to tried to do a stand one or something there to get them out of the air, but yeah, it's just too much height. Yeah, because in that situation, he can instantly do the Pharah to catch any jump up attempts. He can land and do the overhead. He can land and do the low, or he can land and do the command grab. Pharaoh. It's just so much. That's what makes this cameo so great in this meta. Era has so Dark many King. options. If you're in the air at any point, Era is going to make the next interaction scary. That is just one of our powers. Round <laughs> Right, this might be a 3-0 in winner's final. Listen, I'm not gonna lie and say it would be the first time I'm seeing this from Mighty Unjust. I just didn't expect it to happen to my man Striker like this. Listen, from Mighty right, Unjust, it's not over yet. In the office. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mighty unjust with the oh flawless my round. goodness, the match point. And you heard it, folks. The wrath of God is coming. Oh, and here we go again. You had to break. Had to. No other way. Yep, here we go. Right, here we go. We're starting something. Yeah, now it's Striker's turn. It's the grab. Grab that. Uh, uh, uh. Good blocks here. Look at this pressure right here for good defense. And that's tough because not only does Mighty have just, Unjust have great offense, his defensive prowess is amazing. Yeah, absolutely right. And that only comes with time. And Striker, nice response there with the meter burn. Oh, 
Nice, that will all get yoked up. Oh, oh, that's going to hit. And that's a raw hit, too. So that's going to be the round. No! Oh, I was yet. No! No way! Oh, he typed it! Okay. Oh, wow, striker. I think, I think Mighty Unjust Fight. overthought it because he tried to sit him down so that Striker couldn't break. Thought process yeah. would be make him break because even if I lose the round, he won't have far to start off the next one. And we've been seeing this all night, you know, sometimes that's all it takes. That one fatal mistake. The music's going. No! What a duck, but he didn't get the full combo. Try to mess up his button timing, but good block. Come on, Striker, we need more games. Show us what you got. Oh no, oh, gets the grab again. Up. No room for Breaker. Oh, it. Nice duck. Nice duck. And we get something going here. Yep, put on the overshield. Just embrace. Oh no, I don't think this is gonna help him though. Actually, it did. It negated all that damage. Very good. Yes! Wow! No. What type of kick oh! is that? One the final shot final to do it. Brace. Brace again. Oh no! You could have got the whip punish! No! It was a great idea, but the height was off. Striker getting sent to the loser's bracket. Mighty unjust once again. Dark era. That was a dark time in our lives, I tell you. Oh, so cloud and alien? Alright, we already know what's happening. You know? <laughs> you know. Loser sent me shoe letter versus Akami. And we see Akami going immediately to the Liu Kang Motaro. Well, nice pick up the the thing is, Akami has already have some ex has some experience fighting Flander. The last match he had to play was against a Red Nose's Homelander on stream. Yeah, but right now, like, Shuleta is just putting in a lot of work. Oh my god, that mid. Get off of me, please. Yeah, I had to break that. That would have been a death combo if you would have missed. All right. Amaki. Round two. I can do good out here. Keep it up, though. And a good duck there. And a reminder, the second hit of that string is a high. Exactly. One, two. Big boot. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Let it go on in. Yeah, cutting the combo short, saving on the resources, which is really smart from Shuleta's uh, point of view, right? Because you need to save the resources in case you need to break. Right. Like, as we saw in that instance, Liu Kang can just get out of that corner. It doesn't matter to him. And they challenge there? Oh, wow. Nice duck. Yep, another duck. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And just for the record, right that now. was on the host end, not the players. As you can saw, the players were just carrying on like nothing happened. And nothing did happen. It's a new timeline. You just hit the reset button. That's all. Well, that's plus range right there. Nice down one to challenge. Work for it. Taro, I'm going with my friend. He's already back. Yeah, nice armor crew. Now here comes the game where you have to catch Liu Kang. Where Liu Kang is so good. The back up. Ain't gotta overextend. I, I really don't have to throw fireballs. You have to come at me at some point. Yep, we just armor through it. Armor through it. Alright. And great use of the tail shots there. Even if you do not land the hit, that's a nice chunk of chip damage that you're introducing there. And 
again, the chip damage just mounts up here for Amaki as they take the first game. Yeah, I mean, Amaki's just playing like a menace right now. This Liu Kang Motaro, like, it, it really does so much for Liu Kang's gameplay. You can play really lame, you can play very aggressive, you can counter zone, you can zone and go immediately into rushdown. Yeah, and just uh, being able to uh, change the distance, the distances of the teleport makes it really tricky when it comes to dealing with those situations too, right? Which is a recent change they did give to Motaro where you now have the ability to teleport close, far, or like normal distance away, right? So, you know, every situation can turn into a guess if you got the meter. And I think once they gave that buff to Motaro, I think like, Otaro's an amazing cameo, maybe a top five cameo in this game. Thank you, thank you. Somebody sees the light. Appreciate that, brother. Also, what's good, Gravity? Oh no, we got hit. You let us go with the offense. And how can he get away? Up oh, there it is. I'm out. But good catch. Another one. Yep. I think there's a me. small victory that at least you didn't die in the corner. And that's one thing you always got to think about in MK games because you always wake up where you died at. Sometimes it's just best to get out that corner entirely. Oh, and here we go. We're just going ahead and cranking it out. But that whip is going to cost. We're going for a ride. Mm -hmm. Hard knockdown. Oh, oh and we're going to break armor. Pulls up the wake up. Nice. Here we go. Luke can't get some started. Instant break. Wow, that was insane. And this combo is insane. Oh my goodness. Plus. Big boot, a lot of plus frames, and we're gonna go 1-1. One, one. The winner of this faces striker in losers finals. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. You have premier zoning, and rush down mm -hmm. or premier zoning and rush down and rush down <laughs> but listen if there's anybody who can pull it off is striker because again striker oh, had a chance and if i'm striker i'm taking that with me right i'm putting that in my memory banks so it's like okay these are the things that went well these are the things that went wrong but the things that went well are are actually some of the best things that I can do for my character, yep. right? Exactly. Being able to utilize the levitate in those situations against Homelander really gave Striker some opportunities to capitalize. But, you know, at the speed that Mighty Unjust was playing that, you know, it can be understandable that, you know, you might have you might have misplaced a couple shots. Mm -hmm. Good grab from Akami. One into the grab. Tommy Jin Jin, thank you so much for the donation to the Macherino. Again, folks, the Macherino is still live. Exclamation point, Macherino in the chat. Oh, yeah. Give us your money. That pot, uh, yeah, let's go Give ahead and make that pot. Money. Yeah, let's go ahead and make that pot fat. Oh, the command grab, the tick throw. Drops a combo, though. So unfortunate. We've seen a few drops tonight. Ooh. A little bit of a stare down there. Yep. Just dragon's tail dead in his face. We'd love to see it. Another dragon's tail. Yeah, understanding that uh, Shuleta is trying to push the issue here because they have the health deficit. He's just taking advantage of that. Trying to get the mix up what there, but gets caught. Good block. What, what, what weaknesses does Liu Kang have? I, I don't see any weaknesses. I got Liu Kang. Yeah, it's that fire god buff, you know? We, uh, you know, it was first to belong to Raiden and MKX. You know, the Thunder, the Thunder God <laughs> variation still haunts us, still haunts me to this day. Yeah, just look yeah. at that zoning. The good flawless block from Shuleta to negate that chip damage. Oh, yeah. You need that if you're Shuleta. Maki trying to get game number two and is going to get it. We just duck on that grab. Uh, 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 uh. We're gonna go for another brute? Yes, we are. 
brutality. And that's bars. That's actually the bars. Is history. Yeah. Less is more, and honestly, that you know, it's just it's simple. Yeah, it's like it, to the point. You know what happened. Mm hmm. What is Shuleta gonna do? Is Shuleta really gonna go home right now? We have not seen a game five all night. At all. I would pity you. Pity this. Round one, fight. Let's see it. This is Shuleta's last chance. Yeah, and it's looking like uh, the chance is pretty good right now with that whip punish. That was a beautiful conversion there. It's got one. Oh my god, hold this big food. Mmm, just lazy for the eyes. Come here, get yoked up like your daddy you two. But good break. Yeah, and Shuleta already having a reversal of fortune right now as they immediately take the health lead. Listen, Liu Kang can melt this health lead away. Pretty sharpish. Yeah, Shuleta Good over grab. here trying to find a way out of the pressure, but Amaki taking advantage of the fact that they know that Shuleta is just going to block because they don't want to give up any op any uh, clear openings. But those grabs are starting to add up. All right, finds a way no out. Oh, and very smart Great. choice there from Amaki using the armor. Yeah, there shot. goes the tail shots, and look at the chip damage. Oh, and he got shimmied. Match point, Akami. Round two, fight. Yeah, there you go. Now you're starting to punish that string. There you go, capitalize. Gets the hard knockdown, down, but the armor's going to break out. Good block there. Oh, Ooh. that could have been very dangerous. Oh, from so down. Town Homelander. Woo! What are you doing? Nice down of the challenge. Here. All right, we're gonna get a hard knockdown here. Good yeah, and again. Watch this big punch. Yeah, Maki's doing a great job with the conditioning here. However, what a challenge. Up. Nice response there, and Shuleta getting around on. Final round. All right, Final. Vic, I'm gonna believe. Let's believe. I'm Let's gonna believe. believe. <laughs> Motaro was on cooldown, so that was Shuleta's chance to respond there, and they're gonna get it. Uh, 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 uh. What a good combo there. There was no meter. That was meterless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't need me to come. Nice down one. Here it is. Come here. Are they going to break? Up. Yes, they are. I had to break right there. Oh, and, and the conversion. That was so good there from Amaki. 335 from range. Oh, and another one. Very nice back and from no. Amaki. Oh, that could have been it. The good, uh, good break. Here we go. Yeah, those are plus. No! Amaki takes the NBA. Amaki takes the game five away from Shuleta and is moving on. Choices, the decisions, and to make them consider what could happen if they try to get a little greedy. It could work out, but we're not going to see it at this time. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and stick with the tried and true, which makes sense. What a throw punish. Very nice. And guess what? The throw combo comes. Good tech there. Punch. That's a back tech. Woo! Duck both of them. is going to get the whip punish towards the early break. That's really strong there for Striker because they have a bar to spin. So next clean hit could be a lot of trouble here for Amaki. And Amaki knows it, which is why you see them being a lot more active here to neutral. Listen, man. Amaki is moving so fast right now. Playing at a breakneck speed. But so is Striker. Let's go for a ride. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh! Oh, and that was God. funky. Yeah, 
we're gonna go ahead and cash office? out right now. It might be better off this. Yep, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and slow things this. down, build ourselves some meter in the process. Striker taking the first round here. Use that double ex stomp that yep. gives you the ground the, the ground capture. It is so good and striker uses it so well. Yeah, but Amaki here with the corner positioning once again gets the safe jump set up. Gonna go for the plus frames, but a back grab. Uh, uh. There we go, side switch again, and we are jockeying for position right now as striker and Amaki duke it out. It's the combo uh, off here. Very nice. Woo we are moving right oh now, y'all. Woo! Yo, where is he going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My fingers can't do it. My fingers can't do it. Come on, Striker. can't do it. We need more. Yeah! Oh, we're going God. for it again, yo. My right, Dragon's Tail. Another Dragon's Tail. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you're dead. No, but he dropped oh, it. He dropped it. But he blocked it. We're out. Yes, and the punish. What a punish. We, we might get your wish, Jack. We might get it. And that was sick. Hey, that was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. Again, How the striker many cancels is... did he do in those like 10 seconds? I'm, I'm a fan now. Like, I'm a fan. Like, that was, <laughs> that was pretty damn good. I like that. All right, striker. You're making me a believer. See if Amaki switches characters here. Yeah, Striker had pretty much a bead on Amaki's choices there. Every time Amaki tried to get something started with the instant air fireballs, you know, trying to uh, for, like force him to stop, um, Striker was always in the right spacing to duck and properly punish, right? So Amaki's gonna have to really think hard about where they're gonna place their shots when it comes to the zoning because clearly Striker's prepared. Oh yeah, clearly. Round one, fight. And if Striker goes up 2-0 here, it's a good for Amaki. I think this is a must-win match. Oh, absolutely. If Striker goes up 2-0 here, that can very much turn a tie. Oh yeah, and that's one thing about Ermac's teleport. It is rather slow to punish good projectiles. A little bit of a drop combo on that drill combo there, but maybe he's looking for something greater. Nice. All this block. He broke right there? I'm not sure. All right, here we go. And you know, something that uh, Maki did earlier in the set, uh, earlier in the round that I really like is that they changed up which projectiles they were using, using the low dragon fireball instead of the high ones, understanding that Striker is definitely hunting for those opportunities to punish high. But now we're starting to switch it up here, forcing Striker to respect the ground game. Yep, plus frames, more. More plus frames. Keep it going. More plus frames. Get off me. And uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna go ahead and get the side switch here. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna put to the same side. Get that safe jump, but no, we're just gonna delay wake up on right at that point. I don't wanna deal with this. We're out again. Little blow territory for Ermac. And there we go again. And that and that low drop has been catching a Maki a lot here. And again, it's so tricky with Ermac because Ermac has like three different overheads that he hits you with. We got shimmied, he's dead. He thought the grab was coming and no, the dragon's tail into the brutality. I'm liking this, man. Yo, this bracket has been fire all night. Chat, I hope you're just as entertained as we are this mat these matches have been absolutely insane and if you've been enjoying the quality of the competition here please make sure that you're hitting up that matcherino as well exclamation point matcherino in the chat we're getting down to the wire folks so let's let's definitely try to make things happen for these hard-working players 
Dark Cotton yeah, Company. these players have given you, you an amazing show tonight. Make sure, path. if you can, triple to the prize pot. Let them get, let them get some, nice, some nice scratch tonight. Round one, fight. Yo, we in a Dark Cotton Colony. A, a lot of Dark Cotton around the area. Yes. Hype matches, hype music, I'm all for it. I don't know if that's you, Vic, but I'm, I'm definitely here for a good time and a long time. And get a breath of it. All right, here we go. Yep, just playing that range game. Even though that, uh, you know Striker's not getting a hit there, Amaki's not, uh, Amaki's not getting one either. Yeah, using that overshield. Grace is gonna be... Oh no. He's messing up some of his confirms. Depths and Grace. Yeah, but that overshield. Another dragon skill. Uh oh. It left him. And now this damage is all real. Ooh, plus okay. range. No. I doubt on the challenge. We're blocked. Good down two. Good conversion. Fatal blow available. Oh no! Didn't get the conversion, but gets the round anyway. That was so tough from Striker. Fight. Ooh, a bot a bot bot. Bot. Wow. Oh my gosh, and we're moving again. I don't know how he does that. I don't know how his fingers did do that. Carefully. Very carefully. Right. The reason why they're up there and we're over here. Big fact. Yeah, we're gonna break immediately. Did not want to eat that 500 damage combo. Oh, and a flawless block on the teleport punch. Yeah, going for the plus frames here. Oh, try to go for the Janet reversal. Grab it. Guess what? We're gonna put you right back in the corner. Yep, safe jump. Micro duck. What a micro duck. Uh, uh, right there. Uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Major damage. Gets the meaty. Gets the pressure. Keeps it going. Whoa, what a grab. Striker. What is that? What, what a sequence. That? I don't even have that in the chamber. Two EX soul spits in a row is diabolical work. I think it was quite beautiful. I think it was quite pretty. Two, one to striker. Oh, I'm a key. I'm going to tell you this. You haven't had a game five tonight. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> right. Now it's your turn, you know? Okay. You know now it's your turn. <laughs> all I'm going to say is we haven't had one. As in, I'm going to leave it at that. Not plan our creation. No. But I find myself glad it happened. Round one, fight. Here All we right. go. Can Error Macro get to Grand Finals? Here we go, folks. Anybody's game still. Tracker with the armor. Gets the opener. Go for breakfast. Gets the grab with the tech. I like that, real great. But listen, there's so many things that Ermac can do. Oh my god. Striker is nice dragon still. Right Full combo. What is that? Oh no. Maybe death here. It's gonna do around the shape of 450 damage. Amaki on the board, getting around. The path guides me. Round two. Fight. Now we've Game seen this before. Mm -hmm. Oh no, oh no, we've oh, seen this before. Nice dragon kick. Oh, almost got a punish there. Come here, good grab. Report. Safe jump. Nice down one, stand one. Getting shimmied at this point. 
had to break. Oh, finally got a grab. Get a grab. These grabs have been working as a place. All right. A little bit of stagger pressure. Gets another grab. Another grab. Is that it? That is it! Oh, oh my god. My god. Game We're finally here, chat. We're finally here. We've reached the top of the mountain. It's real. It's really real. Game five. Striker versus Amaki. Whoever takes this will have earned it, Jackal. They are going through fire and brimstone right now to give us the hypest set that we can imagine. Yeah, and it's definitely a clash of the styles, right? Amaki playing a lot more conventional, playing the range game as well. Very, you know, poised, very reserved, going for the simple stuff. Whereas Striker, all the flashy stuff, all the all the hard inputs. So we're gonna see just who exactly comes out on top here. Gets the teleport, puts on the overshield. I like that decision. No dice on the punish attempts. Now we're just gonna armor through because we can always use the safe as long as Motaro is with us. Nice down forward. Come here. Good. Oh, actually, get off of me. I'm sorry. Ooh, a little scary there with the levitate. Ooh, that was a very smart option to get out the corner for Amaki. And listen, this zoning war does not benefit Ermac in the slightest. Yeah, not really getting much in the damage department when it comes to that, but Striker will take it regardless. However, Striker does have the health lead at this moment. All right, well, Motaro's gone now, so now you got to make a move. And it seems that Striker's just content with sitting in the back here. And it makes sense, right? They already have such a healthy lead. And they're getting the conversion, and their health lead grows. Yeah, Death's Embrace just to make it even harder. Oh my gosh. This movement right now from Striker. A good grab. 10 seconds left. I don't think Liu Kang does enough damage. Yeah, there it is. It's Striker. With a Match complete point. change up here. We've been seeing Striker with the high octane, high flying, you know, high levitation, fancy combos, fancy cancels uh, all night with the Ermac. For the first time all night, we've been see we just saw probably the most patient, the most patient Ermac from them. Yeah, good big boot. Who's going to take this set? Ooh, One, two. Oh, that was yeah, let's go for a ride. And that was good from Striker as well because normally they finish the they finish the sequence with a cancel. They opted to just do it raw. So. Oh! oh my God! What was that? Get hit with some of your own mess in a mock. He got hit with a low shimmy there. And this is gonna be a lot of damage. No! That's oh! it. This is new school. More than enough to bury. Exactly right here and. Like you said, will an MK character win this MK tournament? Let's find out. It's not looking great for the Homelander doing Homelander things. Yep. All right. Oh, wait a minute. But the awareness. Duck. Good stuff there. Striker also, ducking the high. Also, doesn't need a chance. Striker has to win two sets to take this tournament. Mighty Unjust only has to win one set to take this tournament. The smile right now, on his face. Just to go home. The, the smile on his face when he's like breaking your neck is insane. Like, yeah, like he, he <laughs> relishes it. This is an evil person. You know yes. Oh my gosh. And Mighty Unjust. Oh, oh my gosh. God, Getting Striker with a taste of his own medicine. I was like, you know what? I like that. I'm going to use that. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. This is Good Lord, so man. Far. Good lord, man. Yo, stuff like your daddy used to. And that is a flaw. Oh, my God. No sweat. 
<laughs> I feel like oh Unjust God. said that in real life. I feel like he's on his stream right now mm -hmm. talking about, well, there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> this is an everyday occurrence for Mighty Unjust. He just wakes yeah. up, he gets out of bed, and he's like, you know, I'm about to make top eight in this random tournament and make money. I'm telling you. Come on, Striker. I believe. We believe. It was just a bad game. That's all. You know, shake it off. He has to get through the Milkman Jackal. Yeah, just that's all you got to do. Get rid of the milk. <laughs> Spoil the milk. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Like that. Fire with fire right now. But yeah, uh, use those cancels. Uh, Homelander doesn't do well with pressure. Uh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Getting the corner pressure, forcing the early break. That's a good sign. Oh my god, what a long range button. Let's go for a ride. No meter, no problem, says Mighty Unjust. Oh my god, are we gonna break it? No, we're gonna let it rock. Oh, 360, no meter. What the hell? Let's put it on the square. There's Jackie, and we're gonna teleport. Keep the same set. I mean, yeah, oh. do it again! You're dead. I'm gonna say the fatal blow, I like it. Don't need it. I love meter management. Saving the fatal blow for a rainy day. Did he just did he do that on round start? That's he insane. Did. He did. He did. I saw it too. Yeah, that was. Oh my gosh. Maybe not. We we're gonna try. Damn it. Oh, gets the one, two, three. Oh, the low hits. Oh. Well, the laser beam. Sit him down. Oh yeah, nice comp. Yeah, get off of me. That's why. We, that's why God invented breakers. All right, no cancel. Good anti-air. Checks the movement. Oh, Try to fly away. No, sir. I did not say you can leave just yet. No this corner is your break. Home. Here we go. No interrupts the pressure. Oh my God. Yeah, you had to get out Reach of there. Reach the last hit. Oh. oh, good blocks. The punish. I love the blocks right there. Can oh. he finish his game off? Oh, gotta watch, your toes. Oh, gotta watch your toes. Gotta watch your toes. One round apiece. He's done apologizing, he says. All right, gets the throw. Uh, uh, gets a side switch. It's a wake up. You just fly away. We're swinging. Uh, uh. Oh, what a Mr. block. That's not good. Yeah, Mr. Input. Yeah, Mr. Cancel there. And that is definitely bad news for Striker right now. Is you're going to be sitting there stuck in the corner with a fully stocked up Homelander. Oh. Ducks the grab. Good duck, but we're gonna break here. Here we go. Absolutely. Puts on the overshield. Smart decision. You get one free combo. Oh, oh the low hit gosh. And that's so Mighty dangerous. Just is looking unbeatable right now. You know, Striker, for what it's worth, Striker is finding answers. But again, it's coming down to those fatal, those fatal flaws, those fatal errors, dropping mm -hmm. those kit, dropping those, uh, those cancels there when you needed the pressure, giving Mighty Gun just a guaranteed punish, and leading to those checkmate scenarios. Striker's gonna have to clean that up. Janet Kate. Yeah, and he's gonna have to clean it up right now. No more safety net. This is his last and chance. More than enough to bury you. Round one, fight. Listen, a man gets a certain amount of adrenaline when he knows that if he doesn't do it, it's over. Yeah, but here it is. You just said it right. Getting charged up right now. And what a fitting setting here at the end of the world at the pyramid. 
Listen, I think this is what Homelander calls home. I think this is what Homelander wants at the end of the day. All right, checks the Pharah. That's going to put the cooldown. Gets the block. Gets the punish. Gets the combo. Uh, uh, Yo, this, uh, is, uh, uh, this is the beginning. Uh, uh. Every journey starts with a single step, they say. Oh my god, he got yoked up. That could be a potential death scenario. Oh, oh the grab was coming. Tournament point mighty unjust. Come on, striker, what you got left? We need more games. And he did it again. Mighty unjust. Showing no love for striker in the corner. Oh, the overhead. Oh, yeah. That might be his last breaker of the tournament, Jackal. Good block. That's three. Oh, he got no. yoked up again. And we're going for it. We're doing the hard stuff. Oh, here we, go. Whip punish. here we go, here we go. It's not over yet. Steps in grace. That might have saved his life for now. Oh, but he's no. got yoked up. This is going to kill him. Oh. And that is it. The clap and mighty unjust. It's TNS tonight with Homelander. And you heard it there, folks.